yes it is. <laughs> Return of Doodle Mercy, because I don't feel like doing cam today. Because, uh, yeah, that's my explanation. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so, itinerary is that we're going to start with the free time events of the people who, uh, spoilers, died last time, uh, and then after that we're going to get started on chapter three. So, uh, yeah. And uh, real quick, uh, before we start, I guess I should just go ahead and give you the update on why uh, streams have been so like dotted around and that's because um we have had basically like every single weekend which is when i would normally stream uh my sister and uh, her kids have been coming over every single weekend and they are really loud not just the kids my sister as well also very loud um but the problem with that is that uh, they are temporarily moving in starting tomorrow, and I don't, do not know when they will be leaving, uh, which means that I'm going to have to figure something out in terms of, you know, when I'm going to be streaming, what that schedule is going to be like. I don't know what it is yet, uh, so, you know, I, I know that it's sort of been, like, sparse already as it is, um, because of that, so, you know. I know that I don't have to, like, justify it or anything. I just wanted to explain what the deal was so that you know if streams are a little bit weird for, like, the foreseeable future, then that's why. And I just, like, you know, I, I do plan to try to figure something out, but I just, I don't know what it is yet. Anyway. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into Kizuna's free time events. Let's go.
I, <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, read these out, like, super, uh, like, voice acted this, t uh, with the free time events, as usual. You're so sensitive to physical contact. Usually boys love this kind of, oh, boy. Anyway, there's something I want to ask. What is it? How wealthy is your family? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we're already starting off strong at this interaction. We're not in poverty, but we're not rich either. I guess kind of in the middle. Alright. <laughs> she lost interest immediately. She was like, okay, whatever. Oh, fine then. No, nothing special. I was just curious. Thanks to your luck, okay. Will, will you win the lottery? Will you will you make me rich and fabulous? Darn it, he sent me the- Oh my god, what? Hold on. We can actually go back and pause it on this one. He's so mediocre. I could still try to get close to him, I guess. I can rip him off and abandon him later. Bro, no. What did you say? I couldn't hear you very well. Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> it's terrible. Anyway, Yuki, I'm so nervous. I'm so scared of Monokuma. Would you hug me and calm me down? God. No, thanks. I can understand your feeling. He, he, he was really like, no, I don't want your hugs. Take this head pat. That's all you deserve. <laughs> don't be shy, you. Why does Kisuna like to be physically close to others? Aside from that, I heard her say something weird. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, Yuki was like, I'm gonna give you the Christian side hug. We have to make room for Jesus in this friendship. <laughs> I'm gonna make conversations fun. Really? That's good to hear. In reality, she's been leading this chat all along while I only said a few words in response. I don't know if that can count as a conversation. <laughs> You, don't you think you've, we've become closer? You only had one free time event so far, girl. Have we? I'm not sure. Hmm, you know, if we get out of here safely, why don't we become a couple- One conversation, girl! What? What did you just say? Huh? Well, let's date after we escape. <laughs> Is my voice a bit quiet? <clears throat> Might be the mic. I, I am mumbling a little bit, too, though. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't understand why, you, why you'd like an ordinary guy like me. Uh -huh. Do you need a reason to like someone? I like you just because. <laughs> yeah. Let me also, like, change the direction of the mic. That might also help. Because I did have it sideways. What do you mean? Come on, you. You may not have noticed. But pretty much everyone knows that you're flirting with every guy you meet. <laughs> so it's just a sign of friendship. But you're different, you. You're special to me. You think of everyone as a friend, Kizuna? I don't believe that. Of course, you're the one who I want to have a relationship with. Everyone else is just a friend. Okay. But then how come you're not interacting with other girls? Other girls? Well... You know, Yuki, there's a lot of dimensions to what you think of as friendship between girls. Of course, of course. Absolutely. Unless we speak the same language, we don't team up together and usually end up being enemies. <laughs> what do you mean? But aren't you just ignoring the other girls like Akane even though they're trying to be friendly? Oh? Well, yeah, but... Kisuna, I'm very grateful for your attitude towards me, but I don't want to be the favored one. <laughs> like I said, we need to make this professional. Why don't you try to get close with the other girls, too, and not just guys? Ah, great. What? You Are you asexual or gay? What? 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 
What's the matter? A pretty girl like me acts charming to you and you start saying all that gibberish. What do you... What? If it were any other guy, he would have been begging me to date him by now. And you're back talking? You? Are you uncomfortable with me? Wow. I can't believe Kizuna is doing a hate crime during the month of June. Also, happy pride, yes. Really, if that's the case, then you like me. Oh, that's lovely, you. Then let's date after we're out. There's a purse I really want to have, and if you buy me that as a present, I'll love you even more. Wait, what are you... You promised it. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be off to grab some food from the kitchen since I'm starving. See you later! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> With that, Kizuna left on, off on her own. I was a bit uncomfortable around her from the beginning, but I didn't expect her to be this much. She's awfully obsessed with me. No, it's more like she's obsessed with my wallet. What if it, what it could get her? Does she know I'm broke? <laughs> Thinking about her potential motives, I turned and walked away. They call it Xbox 360 because you turn 360 degrees and walk away. <laughs> I was so glad that you came here to talk with me again. Kizuna, you know, there's something I'd like to talk about. What is it? A love confession at last? Oh, you. Please stop doing that. <laughs> what do you mean? Stop what? You know, trying to touch me and act charming. Oh, you're being shy, aren't you? It's okay. No, that's wrong. <laughs> wow, he's like, these aren't your true colors. You're just gold digging for me, aren't you? Oh, wow, okay, he's getting right into it then. I've been watching you for a while, Kizuna. You've been actively approaching other guys. Oh, no. Especially the richer ones, like Tsurugi and Daria. You said the same thing to all of us, and you're saying that I'm the only special one. You're just treating me like a fool. <laughs> it's like very dramatic. Yeah, yeah. So what? <laughs> huh? Yuki, you should really know your position. Oh, what? okay. Oh, okay. All you have to do is act like an idiot guy that gets horny every time I flirt with- What? Hello? Just have a big crush on me. I'll make you happy. Besides, I'm pretty cute, don't you think? So just be, okay. Uh, I think she's in, into a particular kind of relationship dynamic. <laughs> Doing whatever I'm told, that's just like servitude. Exactly, all men are my servants. <laughs> she's not even trying to hide it anymore. <laughs> this girl's out of her mind. Her way of thinking is more twisted than I thought. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can't do- you can't do this to me. I mean, I'm stuck here for now. My faithful bodyguards are waiting for me outside. Several of them were members of school gangs. They're really strong and they carry clubs with them, too. But more, most importantly, I'm their queen. Oh, okay. So if you keep nagging me, those big guys won't leave you alone. What the- so you just use violence to get rid of people you don't like. Using violence to get rid of people? Oh, please. My bodyguards worship me, but since they aren't really smart, they tend to make moves of their own at my every complaint. And God help if anyone disrespects his queen. Every time I'm in a bad mood, they always figure out the cause and solve it for me. It's not my fault, you know. They're doing it on their own. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Also, they send me presents every week and lend me money every time I need it. Really convenient, isn't it? Hmm. They're really loyal to you, so what do you do for them? I stream on Twitch! <laughs> um, nothing? <laughs> for real? They told me that being able to admire my breathtaking beauty is rewarding enough. Okay. Don't you have a heart? They love you sincerely no matter what you think about them. Uh... I know, I felt sorry for them, so I let them sleep with my cheerleader- WHAT?! Oh, 
Hold on! I want to give them something in return, but wouldn't it be a waste to use... Oh my lord. Huh? Huh? Did they do it voluntary? That's a good question. What? What? These are bad. These are really bad. I don't feel sorry for her. At all. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for her at all. <laughs> Holy shit. Have you ever put others before yourself? Like your bodyguards that do anything for you? Or the girls who had to sleep with them as a reward? And what about the other students locked in this school? I'm not sure how much you value relationships, but someday you will pay the price. Foreshadowing. <laughs> At least if you keep looking down on others. I'm not looking down on others. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Have I done something wrong? What do you think? What do Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Isn't this how relationships work? No! Mm, where did you get this impression from? Where did you learn this? Who told you this? Am I the weird one? Yes! Despite living a life full of pretense and lies, Kizuna sounded sincere at that very moment. Oh, wow. Okay. That's... Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the implications of this. What? Yeah, no, like... I'm leaving. I'm not in a good mood. Yeah, me neither anymore! <laughs> I decided to move on. She has more after this. Who would hang out with her again after that conversation? <laughs> yeah... Since the talk last time, we've been quite awkward near each other. I would, I would think so. Come to my room. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't go to her room. That's a bad idea. It's because I need to tell you something, so stop complaining and come. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I have a plan to kill you. <laughs> she didn't even ask for my opinion. Hey, I'm here. What did you call me for? She has like multiple pom-poms and whistles and the same uniform. <laughs> Instead of answering my question. Oh no, I don't like where this is going at all. I don't like where this is going at all. Um, I, um, hmm, hmm. Am I going to have to pause this? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Please stop, please stop. Yeah, I, hmm, I think, I think maybe. I don't think there's any value uh, in these free time events. I have to. I have to say, I don't think there's any value in her free time events. Uh, I think maybe we're gonna not do the rest of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry, but like, holy shit, that's pretty bad. We're just gonna go on ahead to uh, IMAs instead. Wow, that was bad. That was really bad. Seems like another victory of mine. Yeah, victory to have skipped those. <laughs> Wait, I need some rest. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. 
What now, Yuki? Are you exhausted already? That tells me your fitness is below average in our age group. I have scientifically calculated that you're bad. I quit. I wasn't much of an athlete anyway. Is that so? Considering that, you're rather passionate. Although you may be far behind me for now, you'll easily catch up with practice. Okay, yeah, it is It is good to know that somebody said in the chat that it doesn't end up actually going there, but, like, I wasn't gonna continue that scene anyway. It's just, like, really, really uncomfortable, and I, I don't really want to uh, cover that kind of content on a stream, so, yeah. Do you think I can run faster than the Ultimate Sprinter? I speak the truth. As an athlete myself, I can vouch for your talent. However, your stamina falls too short. Beyond mere talent, a good athlete must develop cardio endurance and lung capacity through training. I'm fine. I never thought about becoming an athlete. Even so, if another opportunity arises, I hope you can be my running partner again. Ah, this is already so refreshing. It's the first time I've run with this much enthusiasm and excitement since entering this school. Exercise should always be done together. Competition and the friendship it bears. It's beautiful, isn't it? Damn, forget what I, for what I was going to say. What an embarrassing thing to say. I like it when you let your inner poet slip out. Hey, 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 Yuki. She has a wife. <laughs> Leave her alone. Don't be inane. I'm well aware of my habit of sinking into my own pace during conversations. I already told you when we first met, but I think your habit's a unique part of you. It's not an embarrassing thing. Can't you be more proud of it? A part of me? I see. Perhaps I was overly self-conscious of it. I understand. I will slowly get used to it. On that note, Yuki, shall we run one more time? I've, we've had sufficient rest, haven't we? <laughs> like, pauses for five seconds so we can run another mile. Run again. No thanks. I already feel like I'm dying. <laughs> I know she's all eager to do stuff, but she really needs to hold it back at certain times. I managed to barely escape IMA's full speed pursuit before parting with her. <laughs> ah, another... <laughs> Don't say it like that. Don't you agree that exercising together is fantastic, Yuki? I like it, <laughs> but can we rest for a second? Herg. Oof. <laughs> Are you okay, Yuki? Your breathing pattern is extremely rough. Of course it's rough. We ran for more than three hours without a break. Why is she running around the school halls instead of using a treadmill? Such a hard girl to understand. Although we ought to run more till the next break. Very well, you are looking terrible. We shall rest for a moment. <laughs> Lie down, then repeatedly take a deep breath in and out. Ah, do you want a cold drink? No, it's fine. I'm all fine now. Yuki. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, huh? <laughs> I am a... There's no need to keep pace with me. R.I.P. I am a... You would have loved Homestar Runner. <laughs> very true. He is a terrific athlete. I understand very well. Haven't you become senselessly tired from trying to keep pace with me? I've been constantly reminded of this problem. That it's hard to keep pace with me. Ah, oh, interesting. You don't know how to recognize the mood. You always speak about things out of context. You're just showing off to gain attention. These are all things I have heard in the past. Oh, That's sad. Yuki, if you try to keep pace with me, you will end up wearing yourself down. Aww. Although exercising with you has been a great delight, it should not continue if it comes at your expense. That's ridiculous. Who would ever say that I'm trying to keep up with you? <laughs> Yuki. Ayami, it's true that you're very energetic and pumping with enthusiasm. For some, that sort of personality might come off as overwhelming. But that can never be a reason to distance another person. You? Showing off? That's a joke. 
Yuki. Ayame, I'm not making myself exhausted only to appease you. It's because I want to. You want to? I know best from past experience, the harsh pain you feel when you run out of breath with your legs shaking. Despite it, you still... I have no idea. Uh, mod question. I have no idea why it does that. I guess just YouTube, yeah. I've become a closer friend to you. Uh, you. <laughs> what a troublesome friend. I always strive to increase my exercise load every day. I trust you understand that it won't get any easier tomorrow. Just as I wanted. Someday I will surpass you. Afterwards, I parted with IMA following a brief chat together. That was a really wholesome interaction. I actually really like that. It adds uh, some dimension to her character, honestly. I think your fitness is gradually improving. Really, I feel like I'm definitely running with more of a bounce, too. I'm glad. Is this the joy of being a trainer? I feel as if I'm developing an athlete. Usually it is the other way around for me. I Yeah, I don't know what to say about that either. Like, it... YouTube is a bad website. <laughs> and that is... Well, I know that the school is warm inside, but don't you ever feel a bit chilly in that kind of outfit? Outfit? What is that? this you speak of? <laughs> I don't know what clothes are. That, um, bloomer as an example. Bloomer? Is it really an issue? <laughs> I like the comfort of movement this outfit allows me to have. Uh, it's more like... Hmm, how can I put this? Yuki, any chance? Oh no! Oh no! No! We just got away. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, please don't. What I'm trying to say is, since you're a girl, I was wondering if you were in more. Oh no! Come on, Yuki, don't say that. A vast majority of pretty clothes are the airy types, right? Well, yeah, like Akane's. Not to criticize her or anything, but my personal belief is that clothes vary primarily in practicality. Ultimately, clothes were invented to maintain our body temperature. Akane's maid outfit probably helps her own work substantially. In contrast, I cannot achieve my main goal of life in running, wearing those kinds of clothes. Yeah, exactly. But do you think of wanting to wear them? Ah, uh, God. Well, girls are supposed to wear pretty clothes. Uh. Ah, they won't fit me anyways. Oh, come on. Hey, no. What's wrong? You may not be aware of it yourself, but you're quite attractive enough. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Don't say such weird things. You're only making the atmosphere stranger. Also, I want to focus on running over being typical for now. I have a dream. Dream? Hmm, it's not, it is, it is to win a gold medal in the Olympics after growing up a bit more about that wow a gold medal you can do it ayame you're already so fast i wonder it is a big world i'm sure that there are athletes faster than me this is why i don't stop training every day to fulfill my dream ouch but your words give me confidence yuki perhaps a bit of competi competition is helping me out Competition? Wait, me? An average student like me being the ultimate sprinter's com competitor? That doesn't make sense. Yuki, don't you remember what I said last time? Day after day, you were getting faster than before. 
At this pace, I might be caught up sooner than later. Ha ha ha. Surely, surely not. Mm, then let us conclude today's session. See you next time, Yuki. Watching the back of Merrily Laughing IMA, I too decided to move elsewhere. If she has one more than Kizuna, that's what she deserves. It's more. <laughs> Another tiring yet rewarding session. How are you feeling, Ayame? Ayame? Hmm? Yeah? What, what did you say, Yuki? Blanking out already? It's only been an hour. We were going to rest a little, then do some dumbbell lifting afterwards. You're right, but... Let us call it a day, Yuki. What? You're wrapping up training already? Is something wrong? Well, you see, I have a problem, but it's nothing you should be concerned about. Not my concern. I get you're an athlete and all, but... You look sick. Are you okay? I said it's none of your business. <laughs> wow, okay. All right. Uh, sorry. I did not mean to get enraged. My apologies. You don't have to apologize for getting angry. You should- instead you should apologize about saying that I shouldn't be concerned. You're my friend, IMA. When a friend refuses my help, despite clearly being troubled by something. To me, feeling incapable of helping my friend is more upsetting than being shouted at. Hmm. Okay. I see. I was inconsiderate. I will tell you. No, please let me tell you. Yeah, please do. What happened to you? Not only did you finish exercise early, but you were so uncharacteristically angry. You see, I have had a, have a, had a slight pain in my hamstring recently. What's a hamstring? <laughs> Simply put, it is a large tendon found in the back of your thigh. Oh, n no. It's responsible for acceleration and deceleration while running. You cannot. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that pain's going to get a lot worse in a, in a little while. Dita, I have a problem with the muscle equal to my athletic career. Huh? Then. Isn't it strange? You're running well till now. Yuki, I will tell this to you only. I've actually injured my hamstring once in the past. Oh my god! Huh? My intense training style was the cause. Although an emergency surgery barely salvaged my leg, the surgeon firmly told me to never overexert myself again. Holy shit! Even so, you still practiced with an existing injury until now? No, you can't. You might get hurt to the point of no return. I know, however... I cannot stop now. 
Time waits for nobody. Even now, somewhere across the world, I am being overtaken by another athlete. To fulfill your dream, I believe that you have to make calculated risks. I will not let this trivial injury impede me. Wow. I am a you idiot. Y Yuki? Do you think achieving your dream is everything you have? You might become permanently incapable of running or crippled for life. Should you give up your happiness in exchange for your dream? I mean, I don't know if she's giving up her happiness necessarily by having, like, one leg that doesn't work. Like, it's, it's a little strange to conflate, but... I mean, like, I get what you're saying, but also, I don't know. If you lose everything in exchange, I'll stop supporting your dream. Wow, okay. You're more than your dream, isn't that right? Yeah, exactly. Get a cool metal leg, like Edward Elric. <laughs> Maybe I am being really presumptuous. But this is what I believe. This is my ninja way. No, you're correct. Perhaps I was blindly pursuing my ideals. <clears throat> Sorry for making you worried. From now on, I will cease my recklessness. No, you won't. I don't believe that. <laughs> I will cease my recklessness, and instead I will murder someone. <laughs> I know when to stop, except for when it comes to murder. <laughs> don't overstrain your muscle from now on i won't i will just i will just cut it permanently with a tripwire I see, I see. It's absolutely nothing. Now, shall we stop our training and instead start planning for a healthy diet plan? Yeah, sure. Healthy diet plan. That's the only thing that she's got cooking right now. Well, wait a second, please. When did Yuki become uh, Ron Delight? Ate nutritious food with Ayame and then parted ways. Only one left. Hey, Yuki. Hmm? Did you call me? If you're gonna ask me to do another calisthenic th stretching, please stop. I want to die now. <laughs> no, no, it is entirely something else. You see, is I am a hesitating? That's weird. Did something happen to her? No way. Is your leg hurting again? Nothing like that. Damn, I hate brooding over this. I have something to say, so come to my room. Oh boy. What? I am being cautious not to let anyone else hear us. Don't take it the wrong way. I won't do anything strange. Then I will be waiting for you. Oh, they are gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna do the the typical dang and romp of free time event thing. No, yeah, I, I didn't, I, I just meant, like, you know, it's going to be, like, a confession or something, not necessarily, like, cues and notes or anything. <clears throat> Did say she would be waiting. I have to go. She may kick up full strength if I back out after all that commotion. I don't know what's going on, but I decided to visit IMA's room anyway. Oh, her room is kind of cool, though. I was waiting, Yuki. She has, like, a little mini, like, track field, which is, like, the smallest track field ever. So why did you call me into your room? 
Didn't you ask me before? Whether I am interested in feminine things? You led me to think about it. I have come to a conclusion that I must know more about men to understand femininity. She's like, I must become extremely masculine in order to understand femininity. <laughs> I don't have anyone to ask about this apart from you. I can't ask other girls, and I am not close with the other guys either. Siyuki, teach me more about men. <laughs> What? Do you realize what you're saying? What are you talking about? To be more feminine is akin to seducing the opposite sex. Like what pheromones do, am I not right? God. Unfortunately, I'm not too bright in this kind of area, which means I need to know more about men. <laughs> Way too bright. What is, is that Yuki saying? But Ayame isn't joking around either. Is she completely naive to this? Yeah, it is him. Now, Yuki, tell me everything about men. Tell me all of the man lore. If you could please phrase it in the same way that MatPat makes his Five Nights at Freddy's videos, I would be able to understand men. <laughs> Am I asking too much? <laughs> well, it's nothing like that. What I mean is what you said. It sounds like you're trying to imply. You want to have- no, Muki, no, that's not it. It's just a theory. A gay! Thanks for watching. <laughs> this lady's completely innocent. A blank page of purity. Anyways, I thought you- Thought you put that kind of thing aside to achieve your dream. Why did you change your mind so abruptly? That is... I have no idea. I keep thinking abnormally when I see you. No. No. No! Why is it so? Somehow, rather than sweating and exercising, I want to be more elegant and calm around you. Stop! Such thoughts that are foreign to me. Huh? That means... What kind of nonsense am I jittering? Yes, exactly! It's all nonsense! Yuki, since you're a man, wouldn't you prefer a No! Stop! Stop it! Well, I can't speak for men. I think a woman's charming qualities are dynamic. All men have preferences. There are guys who dislike the quiet type of girl you described. That is also true. That is also true. Is that so? Then how about you? Huh? What kind of girl do you like? Oh, I don't! <laughs> <And, uh... laughs> That's how I feel too. <laughs> Forget everything I have said in this room. This is not me. Very true, very true. She's been possessed by a ghost. I'm sorry, Yuki. I said some nonsense. This wasn't why I wanted to speak to you. What should I say? It's an enigmatic emotion. Without a doubt, I am sure of one thing. You're my precious friend. Friend zoned! Let's go! <laughs> You're mine too, Ayame. As I was about to say it, my lips froze. The instant Ayame made a soft smile on her face, I was dazzled by her shining brighter than she ever had before. Stop it! Stop it! I mean, she's gonna die anyways. <laughs> I can feel a deep bond with Ayame. I can sense that we became close from the bottom of our heart. I sure hope that she doesn't decide to kill anyone. I left Ayame's room after awkwardly saying goodbye to her. Alright, well... What a, what a great, what a great time. Why is, why is John Tron in my recommended videos? Stop doing that. <laughs> I don't care about that. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to switch to the game. So one sec. Let's 
see. Can is is this work? Okay. <clears throat> uh Okay, there we go. Oh god, don't we wish. Don't we wish that he left the internet years ago? <clears throat> Kenji's been confirmed as gay ace according to Kiyotaka's FT, so at least that's something. Oh, okay. On to the death game. Okay, and now, <clears throat> now that we're actually playing the game, I can actually start uh, putting effort into doing voices again. <clears throat> I was able to realize that when I was waking up, it wasn't particularly enjoyable. It didn't feel normal. However, it, however, it's however. Uh, I think it's however strange. However strange it may sound, I hated opening my eyes again. Four of our friends have already died. I was still surprised that I could sleep. The first time Maki died. Then Higa, who killed Maki, in the attempt to escape, was executed by Monokuma. Not long after, Tomori was killed by someone. Hatano, who killed Tomori in order to save her friend, also was executed by Monokuma. Not only that, I'm worried about Kinjo's problem and Tyra's mental state. Everyone's getting more ferocious. Even if we're united, we're still getting hostile towards each other. It's not the time to be doing this. I have to meet with everyone right now. But first, the pizza's here! <laughs> Hello everyone, morning has arrived. It is 7 a.m. Wake up time. Let's have a lively day. It seems I awoke just in time. I don't open my eyes for a reason, but I have to force myself to get up. Yesterday, everyone wasn't sane, and we were tired, so we couldn't talk properly, and we broke up. Let's try once more to talk about yesterday. First, let's go to the dining hall. Oh, okay, yeah. Somebody in the chat said, uh, big heads up, there is a depiction of self-harm and attempted, uh, that. I don't know if I am allowed to say that on YouTube without them fucking clapping me, but that, you know, that. Unalive. Yes. Um, so yeah, if anybody in the chat is, like, particularly sensitive to that subject matter, which is completely understandable, that warning, please can, please consider that warning. <clears throat> So yeah, okay. Uh, so maybe everyone's headed there for now. Ah. God, it is so loud. Let me turn down my volume on my end. Ah. There's a scene in the third trial, which I won't say due to its spoilers, but it's potentially triggering. Give a warning when the moment comes up if we get to it. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, I mean, I'll be fine, but I just want to make sure that everybody in the audience is also fine. <clears throat> Okie doke. Let's go. Hey, girl, what's... Mikaru, hello. Incompetent, welcome back. Huh? Did you mean to say hello? Huh? Never mind that. Hey, aren't you going to the dining room anyway? Yes, I'll go there first. <laughs> this makes things fun again. You go to the restaurant. <laughs> Why is Mikaru saying that? If it's something she likes, I don't think it's very good for us. It's not a restaurant, it's a, it's a cafeteria. Yes, go to your your Denny's, and I will meet you there. First, let's somehow persuade Kinjo, who has a very extreme mindset. I don't think you're going to convince him. Uh, and let's continue to convince Meikaru and Uehara. Is the music a little loud? Let me turn it down a little bit more. Who act separately and speak to everyone so they can cheer up. But I didn't realize at the time how naive and soft were those thoughts. Huh? What is... It's not crazy. It's going to be fine, okay? You must be crazy, Kinjo! 
Not even with your not even with your remarks did insult Tyra. For her, Hatano had to survive a sacrifice for her. Hatano had to. And now you want to solidify the dictatorship? No matter how you phrase it, being your own subordinate, oh, we're not yours. Huh? Can't I say anything? If you make things soft as before, you might get the same ending like Tyra Akane. What are you saying? I realize this now. In this unusual situation, it wasn't necessary to unite from the beginning. Isn't that true even in society? Oh wow, he's... <laughs> we live in a society. And you get what you deserve. <laughs> Do you decide the law in consultation with the country and the people? It's not like that. There are always the highest people who make the law as they see fit. Yeah, but... Hmm. There's nothing... That's nothing but social order. Higher in command people have to decide on their own. But the world works well. Because it is the law set by people who know the law best than anyone else. It has to be this way. What do you... want to say? In this school, I'm one of those higher people. And you're national people. Because I know better than anyone how to protect to ev the everyone that's <laughs> surviving here. <coughs> yeah, no. <coughs> no? So you just want people to follow your words? Don't listen to this. It's just crazy to even consider. In fact, Tomori and Hatano died after they said they would not make any victims if they only followed him. So you're saying I should resign because of last time? I'll protect you perfectly. So you can't even think of betrayal. In order to do that, you have to follow every order I give you. You may not be able to afford any comments by our rules, but if you can keep it like that, it's a cheap exchange, right? Shut up! What is that for us? Who would want to hear what you have to say after all of this? What is this? So all six of you are not willing to obey me and are willing to kill any time? Yeah, it's a hundred times better to listen than to obey you. Wait a minute, what the hell is this? Uh, Maida, why are you all antagonizing? Oh, come on, Yuki! I know we had a little argument yesterday. There was no hiding it, but you can't do this. Even if we all work together, it's not enough. But Kinjo's gonna be the storekeeper from now on, and they're telling us to obey. Kinjo? Is that true? Indeed. I'll take care of you at your convenience and cope with it too softly. I'm thinking about this. And I'm going to take full control so that nothing like Tomori does happen in the future. Your idea's not working! Why don't you get that this just happened and re you regret already? Can't you tell? Real people are dying here! And even if we follow your words, there's no guarantee that no one will die! You're free to believe it or not, but at least I can assure you that your survival rate is much higher than playing among your friends. A friend? Are you talking about, like, Mikaru? We don't need this at all. All of us won't even follow you. We'll act on our own. So don't you even think about it. Kubashikawa, wait a minute. Fine. Then from now on, I'll treat you all as potential criminals. Eating. I think that will be the only time you and I will face each other as friends. In the end, is that is what I'll choose. Kinjo! Maida, what are you going to do? Will you ignore me too? No. Me... I... I don't agree that this should be done regardless. Of whether to follow that or not follow this, that's not what friends do. The answer's vague. If you make a choice, come talk to me. I'm going to leave. I don't want to be in the same place with these prospective criminals anymore. Yes, please exile yourself from the conversation. That's because you're a lot more criminal! Yes, please leave. Kabashikawa, what in the world happened? It's exactly what you saw. We gathered at the dining hall as usual, but he said, It's an extension of yesterday's work. I'll change the policy from now on. Damn it. We're breaking apart one by one. We can't keep doing this. Oh, I can see that Tyra isn't here. Because Mikaru and Uehara originally went alone. But even so, why isn't Tyra here? Well, it looks like they're in their room. But when I call, they don't answer, and they don't come out either. It's because Hatano, her best friend, died. <sighs> Grateful we didn't die, because originally, if it weren't wouldn't for Hat Hatano's sacrifice and being executed, Tyra would have become the Blackened. It's no joke. But it's too much. 
even if it was intentional or not, and Hatuno's sacrifice for everyone can just become like this. If he's so confident he won't die alone, leave him. Let's just get along together. Also, why did everyone get together here so quickly? Usually, as soon as we listen to the Monokuma announcement, we come to the dining room. It's as if everyone promised to come, except for me. Uh, that's... Hey, guys? I'm sorry, Maida. It was something we had to hide, so I'll be honest here. We... I hope you don't hang out with us like Kinjo and get out. What? We're sorry. Sorry, Maida. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I was sleeping during this, so what's the reason? Uh, why is everyone doing this all of a sudden? Even without Kinjo, we're mates who always acted together, right? You didn't know, but in fact yesterday I spoke with Mikaru Uehara, Kinjo, and everyone else except you before returning to our rooms after the trial. First, the most urgent topic was Kinjo. It's rather a sequel because we came out before we argued our, argued our argument. He came out with something first. The problem, however, was you, Maida. Honestly, I'm still worried about how we should treat you. Why? What did I do to you guys? The secret note, I guess. Yep, that's what I thought. Huh? <sighs> Do you remember yours? The secret note that Tomori was holding? Yuki Maida might know the identity of the mastermind. B because of that? No way, you guys believe that kind of lie? It's not a lie. It was the truth when Kinjo read my secret note when I was really young. I was teased a lot for being a tall person. And Otori seems to pee if he doesn't sleep with his papa. You don't have to remember all of that! Did you hear them? I don't really know about the others because they're gone. But it's most likely true. Then, as written in your note, you'll come to know. The identity of the person who set this whole thing up. Well, I don't! How am I supposed to know the identity of the mastermind? Isn't this too early to conclude to be real? You're not really laughing at us behind our backs while saying that, are you? I'm not doing anything of the sort. Why are you doing this? I'm not blaming you, but uh, I think you might be an imposter. I think you might be sus. I think you might be the imposter among us. I think we need to throw you out of airlock, Yuki. I think you were doing something in comms. I'm sorry. <clears throat> imposter? Don't say nonsense. Even one of us couldn't be involved in this. Oh, it's a fight, fight, fight. Monokuma. What are you here for? Shoo, shoo! We're talking about something important right now. Um, I was looking from the sidelines, but it seems like the story's going pretty wild. So I'm here to give you a hand. Are you here to cause more trouble? Far away. I'm here to talk about the imposter. Uh, the imposter? So they really exist? Actually, there is a mastermind that I planted even before Maki died, and that person is still alive and mixed in with you guys. Can you really say that outright? What about it? It doesn't mean anything if I don't say who it is. And you guys seem to have reached a conclusion, so it really doesn't matter in the end for me. It's a lie. It's something like that. If Monokuma's words are true, the most suspicious thing is... Maida, it's him? Stop it, you guys! Why are you suddenly believing the words of Monokuma? Oh well, I already told you, so I'll be on my way. I have to tell the others who weren't here. <laughs> Alright, since you guys passed the class trial yesterday, I opened up a new place again. I originally meant to be here to tell you this. Well then, everyone give it a hard look, and a work hard in your investigation. We don't want to believe this but the situation's getting difficult. The secret of that note is a lie. I'm trying to tell you that it's a mi true, true mixing with the fall. I actually got one from Kurakawa that was also a ridiculous joke. My secret note. Did you see it? Mikako Kurakawa may actually be a chatty person. That's what it was written. See, it's a joke for Monokuma. No, hold on a minute. You said you saw a secret note? Didn't we all agree to discard the note without looking at that time? Huh? 
Right. Mida, were you keeping it as a secret from us and you look at it alone? Uh, no, that's not... Oh, you fucked yourself. Hey, he didn't say anything to us. <sighs> Mida, I'm disappointed. Uh, no, I, I was just... Mida, I'm sorry. Really, we don't want to do this either. Mida, I'm really sorry. I know we shouldn't be doing this, but... Like, I'm, I'm done. I'm leaving. Are we really doing this? We have to be hard. I'm sorry for Maida, but if there's a chance he's the imposter, then there's no future for us. I'm worried about Tyra. I think her relationships are getting worse every day, ever since Maki died. It started as such deep tension between us in order to escape from here. Let's move. We need to look into the new open place. That's right. If we find a clue to escape in the end, you don't have to fight like this. By the way, Kurikawa? Yes? Are you really talkative? Let's move on to investigate. Lamps below the betrayer. For the majority, throw away prime numbers. What? That is a very strange chapter title. No, no. <laughs> no, don't expose me. I'm not the imposter. <laughs> me? A traitor? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone's clearly confused now. It's just that four friends are gone and Monokum was trying to pull a trap to destroy our group. We'll get back together in no time. Now let's do what we can. By the way, Monokuma said that a new place was opened. Originally, I should do some research with everyone and gather at the dining hall to report on it, but now everyone's aware of everyone else. This can't be good. Let's investigate as far as I can alone. Actually, before that, first let's go to Tyra's room. I'm worried about breaking up like that after yesterday. All right, let's go find Akane. Yay! Where? Where's your icon? It there. Here's Tyra's room. Of course, it's tough to go in. There's no angle to approach this, but I want to make sure. Is this like a thing about like the the like the Korean translation that like? gender neutral pronouns like keep getting kind of tossed in like i don't know if that's a if that's a thing related to the the translation but it's interesting i think so yeah hey tyra are you inside like the other said there's really no response at all i guess she must be really hurt about how to know yeah, that's what, like, I was I was thinking that it might be something like that, but I don't know anything about uh, Korean, so. <laughs> Probably, but screw it, she, they, Tyra. Very true. Very true. <clears throat> Tyra, I know it's very difficult, but I want to make sure you're safe. Can you give me an answer, please? Tyra. Leave me alone. Thank God she's still inside. Okay, please come out when your mind's ready. The relationship between us is getting rather messy for everyone right now. Please don't overdo it. Make sure to eat rice at least. Oh, yeah, there's also a place that Monokuma opened, so I'll be heading to investigate there. Without Tyra's brightness, it feels so discouraging. Tyra by our side, the mood would improve a lot. Would Tyra react the same as everyone else? Me being the mastermind? Let's think about that later. A new place was open. I'm curious to find out. Where was it open this time? Let's start my own investigation. Okay. Well. Uh, figurative bets on who the mastermind is? Um, honestly... 
I don't know. I feel like it'd be a little easy with all the planting that's going on right now. But I feel like there actually is a pretty decent possibility that it could be Yuki. The reason I say that is just because they're telegraphing it so hard. Like, there's so many implications of that right now. Um, I could be wrong. But I don't really have anybody else that I'm, like, that suspicious of in particular. So that's just, like, my tentative answer for right now. Soccer is the mastermind. Very true. Um, or has some ties to them. That's also valid. Yeah, like something, something weird's going on with that, though. Like, there's got to be some reason why they keep bringing that up. I know the rules of storytelling. <laughs> I know that you bring stuff up for a reason. Uehara, did you sleep well? Maida, somehow, it seems the third floor is now open. Yes, it's true that every time the class trial ends, a new place opens. Did Uehara also come to investigate because Monokuma told you? No, Monokuma didn't come, but I remember the last time it happened. So I just came here, and it was open too. I'll be find something on the third floor. However, Maida, what happened? Somehow you seem worse than everyone else. <sighs> Wait, what? It was... We all know the real mastermind is Kazuo Tengen. Very true. Twists. Uehara. Actually, it's just a misunderstanding for nonsense reasons. A nonsense reason? The secret note that Monokuma gave us last time. You recall it saying Yuki Maeda might know the mastermind? Taira informed us of the class trial. Yes, I've been saying it again and again, but it doesn't seem to convince them. But because of that, it's what keeps everyone away from me. Now they think I'm somehow the mastermind. I can only laugh, because it's a nonsense reason. Is it really? The others looked at my secret note and thought there might be some someone in charge of this whole thing, but then Monokuma came out and told us directly. I don't know who it is, but the chances are it's one of us. However, it's obvious that all those things are lies. Monokuma's trying to break us down, somehow. It's not even clear why I'm more the culprit behind this than the others. Hmm, I see. So that's what happened. I think everyone knows this much. Because of the class trial yesterday. I'm sure they'll recover. I don't think everyone is sane yet, so I'm sure they'll recover soon. You better think carefully. If you don't have any special beliefs or reason, like me or Meikaru, it's better to act together. Will you keep going alone, Uehara? You still can't believe in us? There's never been a time when I couldn't believe. I still trust you. I'm just acting alone. I said this once. Don't think too badly of it. It's okay. Everything will be fine. By the way, don't you think it's better if start out our search somewhere than spend our time talking? It seems that Maida is alone for now. It's so heartbreaking, really. It sounds like bullying. But Uehara is right. Okay then, I'll go check another place. If Uehara, Uehara finds something, tell everyone. Then, I'll be going. <clears throat> Alrighty, righty, righty. Let's explore. That is just in Korean, so... But I did get mono coins out of it. Oh hey, it's an art room. Oh my incompetent, are you here to investigate too? Yeah, right. Talkative as usual. Mikaru really came to investigate, knowing that a new place opens every time when the class trials are over, right? Obviously. And do you think I came here to appreciate the sculptures? Did you find anything? Hold it. What are you talking about? Who said you could talk to me? Go away! <laughs> huh? Hey, come back for a bit. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> She was expecting him to be like, you know, have a little bit of spunk and be like, no, I'm not going to go away. But he actually got sad and walked away and she was like, oh, well, okay, come back, come back. I, I didn't, I didn't expect you to react like that. <laughs> Why are you so unenergetic? Hold on, wait a minute. Originally, you would be the guy who's taking the lead in the investigation, so why have you come alone? That's... Hmm? Huh? Oh. 
Did you fail your group? Failed? That expression's rude. It was correct then, but I'm puzzled. I don't know the reason of why the others abandoned you. Ah, that's it. In yesterday's trial, Yuki Maeda might know the identity of the mastermind. You lost all credibility, didn't you? How does she know all this? There seems to be no real secret to be kept in front of Meikaru. It's true. You're dying from something like that? The title of incompetent doesn't go anywhere. We have a timid boy over here. No. Right now everyone's confused about yesterday's work, so that must be it. I'm sure we can get back together soon. It doesn't matter if you know the mastermind or not. Anyway, I only need to survive. So you don't think I planned all of this? That I'm the imposter? Imposter? What's this relationship between the mastermind and the imposter? At the dining room earlier, they said I might know who the mastermind is, so when I talked to the others and asked them to stop that line of thought, Monokuma showed up and he ran his own mouth and exposed that they really exist. Among us, there's one of us who planned all of this. Uh-huh, an imposter. Well, of course, I thought there would be one. Come on, you don't really believe that, do you? There's some imposter among us? Come on, you're not making this any easier for me! <laughs> you fool, of course there is. Monokum is basically a thing that doesn't lie about this. I don't know who it is, but it's fun. Let them do whatever they want. No matter what your friend, no matter what your friends do, I'll leave from this place in the blink of an eye. It's tremendous confidence. Don't worry, I never thought you were the mastermind incompetent. I don't know the hidden meaning behind the note, but if a guy like you was someone similar to me, wouldn't you be less intimidated and not fun at all? Well, thank you for believing in me, but at the same time, she's really like, if you were the mastermind, I wouldn't be able to bully you as effectively, and then I would have no fun talking to you while talking down to you. So therefore, you can't be the mastermind. <laughs> Pretty sure Zeph translated this after 2020, so this is all intentional. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's turn it down some more. I don't know why it's so loud. It doesn't seem to be going down at all when I lower desktop audio, actually, now that I... Is that any quieter? Do you hear a difference? Okay. Hopefully it's not, like, I, I just... Because it's, like, almost, like, all the way down at this point. So I didn't want it to be, like, that far down. But maybe a little bit too quiet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's just that, like, when I see the waveform on OBS, though, it looks nearly identical. So, how is that by comparison? <clears throat> That's better. Sounds fine to me. Okay, well, let's try it and see how that goes. Well, thank you for believing... Oh, wait, that's Yuki. Well, thank you for believing in me, but at the same time, it hurts my feelings in a different sense. Okay, mister, you wasted my precious time investigating. Will you go out soon? But you were the one who called me back when I was about to leave. <laughs> I wonder why. At least Mikaru doesn't think I'm the traitor. Okay. Kurokawa, how's the investigation? Kurokawa also thinks I'm the traitor? No. Do you believe in me? No. Which one is it, then? <laughs> it was, a. Uh... Which key was it that shows me the stuff that I can look at. Unless that's just during, like, investigations. Or, I mean, like, you know, like, murder investigations. What's this? A picture. Because I accidentally picked up the picture, I quickly froze in place. Yeah, I think it was shift, but when I hit shift, it didn't do anything, so I guess it doesn't let me do that outside of murder investigations. Hmm. Hmm. 
Who's not in this picture? Hold up, because Yuki is in this picture. But who's not? I don't know. Is there is there literally anyone in our current par party that's not? Yeah, I, I guess it's everybody. Yeah, there are 15 in the picture. All of them are here. The secret 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba, watch out. <clears throat> well, uh, I mean, I guess that could be the person that's uh, in the jail. In the Aoni jail. <laughs> was in the picture was us. <laughs> Monokuma, yeah. <laughs> Tall Monokuma isn't there. <laughs> no, it's not me! <laughs> I swear! <laughs> what do you mean Kazuo Tengen isn't in this photo? Kazuo Tengen is in this photo 15 times! <laughs> Not only me, but our friends that were already gone, Maki, Higa, Tomori, Hatano. All of them were smiling brightly and cheerfully. As if to say that in our current as if to say that the current situation is a lie. Why? Why? I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. Why am I here? If it was a picture of everyone except me, at least I would be able to reason that everyone other than me had met before coming here. As long as I have been photographed, and as long as I don't have such a memory of it, this photo looked so contradictory that I wasn't sure what to believe anymore. Besides, that's not the only weird thing. The picture was not in complete form, and part of it was torn, as if only someone who was there was removed from it. What's wrong, incompetent? Why are you making a fuss? Oh, Mikaru, take a look at this picture. What is that? Is anything recorded in it? And I was about to hand the picture to Mikaru. Hey-ya! Dangerous! It's dangerous! This is super dangerous! Uh, no, Monokuma, what are you doing? Give me that picture back! Give it back? Why should I? This is mine, you know? I have to get it back! Hey, what kind of picture is that? Is Monokuma in that picture? That picture is... We're all in it! We are? Are you referring about me and the rest of them? Um, even the already deceased Maki, Higa, Tomori, and Hatuno. You said I was in it too? <laughs> That's all she cares about. She's like, is it, am I in the picture? Do I look good in it? Maidekun, who saw the picture, would you remember? It was a view of having such a nice youth and completely enjoyable school life, right? With such bright smiles. Shut up! What's the trick behind that picture? I've never taken a picture like that. In the beginning, we met a few days ago in the first place. If I had taken a photo like this... Well, think for yourself. I'm just looking out for these photos because I dropped them and I came to retrieve them. Bye-bye. <laughs> what in the world happened? Hey, did you really see that right? I'm sure. But this is weird. Right after our first time meeting each other, we've been here all this time and now we suddenly are in pictures. That's interesting if you're not lying. However, you don't recall either, Mikaru? Who told you to pretend to be close to me? I'm going to investigate. Don't follow me. It's really awkward in truth. Not a problem, but this clue just seems weird and important. I'll have to tell everyone soon. Well, what do you think of this fine art? What is this? A Monokuma statue? Who made this garbage? <laughs> oh, it seems there's something shiny in it. Yeah! Monocoins! That we're not gonna use! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> This one, this one isn't important enough to be translated, though. But it is important enough to get money from. Oh yeah, mon Monocoin is uh, Monokuma's Bitcoin, that's true. Uh, more Korean. All right. Let's visit this room next. It's just a classroom. What's on the board? Is this like, a person kicking a T-Rex? A tiny little pink T-Rex? It's an ordinary blackboard. There's a strange scribble on it, though. Renovation completed. It didn't take so long to get this building. Ha ha ha. In addition, it is graf just graffiti with a few stick figures. Huh? There seems to be something. Where are you finding these mono coins? <laughs> They're just, like, stuck inside the chalkboard. Don't you want to run the slots? Are there slots? <laughs> 
Oh, Mida. Well, isn't what isn't nice that the new area isn't nice that new area opens? Once I entered the classrooms, I was checking the windows, but it's no use. They're all covered with iron plates. I think the same goes for upstairs. That's right. But Otori, weren't you suspicious of me saying that I'm an imposter? <laughs> well, you're being such a little baby. Every time somebody says something to you, you're like, but don't you think that I'm the imposter? So why do you want to talk to me all of a sudden? And then they're like, you're right. I guess I won't talk to you. And then he's like, oh, nobody will talk to me because they think I'm the imposter. <laughs> Oh, there's a social casino related scene in this chapter if I want to check it out. That's interesting. Yeah, I forgot! Oh boy, being aware of it by the enemy. Dangerous tongue, dangerous! Don't think I'll get along with the guy who sides with the mastermind. You said that, but you spoke first. I can't even deny it, but I want you to know that that is a misunderstanding. I want to believe in you too, but I'm sorry. That conversation is over, then. Okie doke. Nope. Nothing important. Uh, more kicking T-Rex pictures. This is the same classroom on the other side, too, right? Okay, then let's check these side room doors. Oh, there are memos in the antique store? I'll check those in a bit. Wow, it actually is like a little casino room. Ha ha ha! How about that, Kobazing? I've won again! Ah, damn it! I can't admit it! One more game! Hey, what are you both doing? Oh, it's Maida. Maida has appeared. What should we do, Kobazing? Uh, what are you? Don't call me Kobazing anymore. Oh, you're playing poker. Is the investigation going okay? I don't care. Now you're not with us either. We're suspicious of you in the first place. Do you think you can talk with us so easily? I know you suspect me because I can be an imposter, but the only one who knows best about me is myself. If you put that same logic into me, you can do it to another person too. That is, it's never what an imposter would say. Don't be fooled. They might try to keep your guard off by saying stuff like that. You guys. <laughs> Wait, off topic, but can you do Satsuki's voice and do the Mandark lab? I mean, I don't know what the motive of this is, but sure. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Maida, just until yesterday we got along well. We've been together all this time, but I can't trust you because I care about that note. Besides, at that time, Monokuma is also aware of, aware of this because of his knowledge. There's no other person to doubt except you. Would you like to play poker, Maida? Here, there are a lot of fun games. Hey, that was a serious moment. Are you ignoring my comments? Poker, it's not the time for that. Also, I find it amazing that a casino is in this school. No, it's weird rather than amazing, right? Isn't it? Satsuki wants to play with Maida. Are you really suspicious of me or not? It's not as sure as when you spoke to Kinjo. And that doesn't mean you're accepting me either. I know I said this a few times, but I'm innocent. I want you to know that. Maida. So you're not going to play poker? Hey, not when the scene is happening. I'm happy, but it's not the time. We have to get out of here. To find clues as soon as possible. Boo. Alright, Maida, so how about this? Beat the two of us in poker. Then we'll stop doubting you and go back together. What? Was your doubts about me light enough to be resolved if I win, the ga win a game? Was I the only one being serious? That's not it. But it's still being fun with- it's still fun being with Maida. Why don't we try a game for ourselves or whatever? This is a mood that doesn't balance to be funny or serious. I don't know why. Honestly, it doesn't matter if it's about a game or poker. By the way, how exactly do we play poker? What? You mean you've never played poker? You should have played it with your friends. In elementary or junior high school, right? Sorry, I don't really like playing with cards that much. Alright, I'll tell you the rules, so do it right. Let's start. I'm sure this will be translated really well. 
I don't really know how it happened, but I decided to play with Iranami and Kabushikawa for a while. Oh, they're not even going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can I bet now? It's not real money. I have confidence in my hand. Shall I go? Then now I'll begin. Haha, <laughs> you've caught you're caught, Mida. It's my victory. Full house. Ah uh, <laughs> Only one pair here. Wow. Mida, what's yours? Looking at your face, it's probably a triple at best, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, it was a great game, but you can't win in front of a full house. Uh, well, I have 4Ks, so it's a 4-card play, right? Ouch, that's a loss, Kobazing. Oh, did I win? Hey, no, wait a minute! What's that? It makes no sense! How come those 4 cards pop out there? I don't know, I just did what you told me. Beginner's luck! It's just beginner's luck! I... I can't admit this again, again. This is invalid. <laughs> wow, he got fired up. All right, it's time for bet. Let's go. Let's flush. <laughs> Who's the winner? Another one pair. When Mida arrived, suddenly my hands just got worse and worse. Uh, wait a minute. Can you explain what my hand is? I'm not sure what this is. Huh? What is it? Let me look. M -m 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 I you you holy straight flush is it strong nonsense did you cheat did you manipulate the win huh first you get four cards on the first round and then you get a straight flush the next one where did you sit down talking where did you sit down talking like a lottery ticket <laughs> why are you mad at me it just happened to me Kobazing, it turns out Mida came to Hope's Peak Academy because of that. That? You mean my ultimate lucky student? But I don't remember having this talent at all. Ultimate lucky student? Unbelievable. Did I touch the feathers of a sleeping lion? What do you mean by that? Where is the feather in a lion? <laughs> exactly. Maida, are you often lucky at winning games or something? Uh, no. This is the first card game that I play with luck element added. To be honest, I haven't played many board games. My favorite games are role-playing action type or similar kind. I love dragons, <laughs> Dragon Quest. I love a, a, a monster hunter. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Just updated to Gambler now. I'm not really sure about that. I don't know. By the way, Kobazing, you lost, so you gotta keep your promise, right? It looks fun to talk to Yuki, too. But I mean, he... <sighs> Sorry, give me some time to think. He ran away. Yeah, there. I don't know why, for some reason, the chat does that. Um, I've never been able to fix it. It just it does it, and no matter what I've done to the chat, it just does that. I don't really know why. I wish it weren't like that, but unfortunately... Oh, well. Kubazing is also not very honest. Don't worry, Yuki. If he's in that state, he'll definitely stop being suspicious of Yuki. And he'll come to apologize soon. Do you have any doubts about me? Nope. In the first place, I hate complex stories. Yuki's being pushed against us by a subtle psychological warfare is so annoying, so I decided to think that Yuki is just Yuki. Anyways, what to do? Kobazang abandoned us. Want to play another game? Oh, uh, not right now. We need to continue the investigation. Yeah, when the confusion subsides, I'm sure everyone can reunite again. And it goes without saying, getting out of here, too. Oh, no, yeah, that, that's not out of line at all. That's totally fine. I, I appreciate the correction, actually, because I'm not, like, in the chat to constantly do it myself, so. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Oh, I, I assume that this door over here is also just, like, the other one that goes out here. Yep, it is. What's here? Just cards. What's here? It's a wheel. There's a darts game. Who prepared this? Was it Monokuma? But why is something like this in the school? I think there's something here. It's Monocoins. Somebody used darts to kill somebody. 
Please say that somebody tries to use darts to kill somebody. Please so say that somebody tries to use billiards balls to kill somebody. Uh, slot machine. Oh, there is a slot machine. It's a little bigger than the machines on the left side, and it seems to be the latest version. There's something stuck in it. <laughs> it didn't go all the way in. Ah, uh, boy. Kyoko would have loved playing darts here. True. Uh, okay. Let's talk to him. What? Don't talk to me now. I can't see you. Whatever you say. I, I refuse to look at you, therefore you don't exist. Uh, well, is there anything else that I'm supposed to look at around here? What is that open locker? It's Korean. <laughs> um, there's this over here. Did we check this already? No, we didn't. Oh, ha ha ha. Hi, Kenjo. I'm gonna check the empty locker first. Rubber gloves and bags are stored here. Probably the things that you put on when you're doing experiments. Oh, so this is like a science lab of some kind? Hmm. Oh. What is this? It's a big old fucking dictionary. It's dusty. Is this a book? It's really thick. Besides heavy, too. What is written here? Yeah. Hold on, let me check this notification on my phone real quick. Oh. On the cover of the unidentified heavy book that came out from the locker, it was written, Hope Speak Academy 58th Graduation Album. Hope Speak Graduation Album? Maida, what is it? Did you find something? Uh, Kinjo, take a look at this. It's the graduation album of Hope's Peak Academy. What? Let me take a look at it. The stamp is from the real Hope's Peak Academy. Maida, where did you find this? In the locker in front of me. But why is the graduation album like this? Whose, photo whose photos are in it? Kizaragi Hanzo. Hanzo? <gasps> You mean from Overwatch? No. <laughs> I think it's their album. What? How did you figure that out? Usually, there's a picture of yourself on the back of the album cover. This is also the same. Here, take a look. Oh, wow. A JoJo character. Looking at the page that Kinjo pointed at, there was really a picture of someone from the page behind the cover, and it was written, Kisaragi Hanzo, under the picture. A good, a good looking person. <laughs> By the way, who is he? Well, I don't know who he is, but at least I'm sure that this guy isn't the way he looks like in the picture right now. Huh? Look at the cover again. It says Hope's Peak, Gra Hope's Peak Academy 58th graduation album. If you're a 58-year-old, you would probably be 20 years older than us. Oh, that's right. Then this person must be an uncle by now. But why is such a... Wait, what do you mean? This person, 58 years old, must be an uncle by now. Yeah, uh, um... I think, uh... You don't have to be 58 to be an uncle. <laughs> Graduation album in here. I'm, I'm not sure, but don't you think this could be a clue to something? Oh, Lineage is a massive JoJo fan, so Hanzo is definitely a JoJo character. Very good. Also, yeah, that's not how classes work. Apparently, this person was the ultimate inventor. Just by looking at his achievements of graduation, it seems, that he already established the theory of many electronic devices that are still in use. He was such a great person? Well, since he was an ultimate, wouldn't, it wouldn't be that weird, right? Maida, it's a new year. If the per this person's a graduated student from Hope's Peak Academy, then of course he's already a mature person. Yeah, since Monokuma appeared and entered the school, we had completely forgotten about Hope's Peak. At the beginning, I was more curious than anyone else, so I was very motivated to investigate the school completely. And yeah, I, I don't know why, like, 
I, I figured, like, that is not how that works, but also I don't know why they said it like that, but... Eh. I, I, for the record, know that 58th class does not mean that everyone is 58. I'm just, uh, just, you know, I don't know. I was just reading what they were saying. The situation is really scary enough. But isn't it weird? Even though the school has graduation albums for graduates, wouldn't it be in the library or some archive room? Instead, it just pops out in the science lab of all places. And that's not all. It's only Hanzo Kisaragi's graduation album from the 58th graduates. Isn't it, isn't it too strange? I don't think we have enough information, but it doesn't seem like mere coincidence that this person's graduation album is in this school. Kisaragi Hanzo, I feel. There's something about him. Yeah, should we let everyone know? Fine. Even though I treat the others as criminals and I don't get along with them, it's a good idea to share a clue that might help in our escape. However, if you want to tell them, Maida, I'll say this. I'm not going to meet them. I don't think they want you to meet them. <laughs> I'll leave this graduation album to you. Take care of it. Uh, yeah, the in the first two DR games, it was class 77 and 78. <clears throat> I'll go investigate elsewhere. Doesn't translate well to English. It's the main issue with this game, having such a literal translation that can have a lot of moments like this. Fair enough. Kinjo is still here. I think this graduation album may contain an important clue, as Kinjo said. I'll let everyone know later. Uh, is it still the same dialogue if I talk to him now? Uh, Kinjo, you're investigating over here. What? Oh, it's Maida. I probably should have had this conversation first. It's gonna act like we haven't had the conversation just now. What's wrong? You seem to be on edge. You're fine. I was talking to some other preliminary criminals for some useless business. Preliminary criminal? No matter the reason, huh? A few days ago, I thought the message was already received. I made it clear that I would not force you to say that the choice was yours. These guys rejected me by making their own decisions, and you should respond accordingly. If you want to get rid of me, do whatever you like, because I'll just respond accordingly. It hurts being bullied, or should I say... Or sh I should say I'm the one being bullied. What? What do you mean? He's telling on them! <laughs> That's... well... I get it. It's the suspicion of the secret note. I've said this again and again that I'm not the one who knows this person. Believe me, it's me who wants to know who's the mastermind. Yes, you're not the traitor. I believe it. Eh? Why are you so surprised? Didn't you say you weren't the one? It's not that. I wonder if it's so easy to believe. Uh, of course, it's not like I could be the only person who knows them. Of course, I'm certain. If Maida was the traitor, there's no way you would interact with me. What does that mean? Don't bother. By the way, those guys, they're... those guys. They really are, are really suspicious of people and rejecting you. They really have no idea. No, I think everyone is just confused right now. Soon you and I will be... accepted by everyone once again and they'll come to... come to reason. Maybe you don't know this, Mina, but I'll never go back. I can't trust guys who broke up like that once again. In the end, there's always someone who, who wants to kill. That can't happen! Well, how about this? Why not look everyone in the eye instead of me? I'm going to cut off any relationship I had with those other gu those guys other than Maida. No way. But why only me? Well, Maida, you helped a lot in the class trials. Wanakuma said there's actually an insider in our group, yet only Maida and I are the ones being treated as suspicious people. Oh, no! And you feel equal towards everyone. Everybody, right? I don't sense any feelings of hostility towards me when I talk to you. That's right, but I kept thinking that it would be better if Mikaru and Uehara were united with everyone else. I don't really see see how good that would be. Anyways, I don't intend to interact with criminals, but if I have something to say, I will only tell you, Maida. Please keep that in mind. But if you look at how things are, how do you expect them to follow you like this? So you hate it then? Would you rather tr would you treat me as a preliminary criminal? Uh, I don't think there's any preliminary thing- uh, anything preliminary about your criminal activities, Kinjo. No, I'm saying you can do that as a friend, and they'll never intend to murder. I'm kidding. Anyway, did you find anything on the third floor? Oh, well, there are many new open areas, but there are still things- th still things yet to be able to help in our escape. Oh, that's right. Maida's also investigating alone now. 
If it's the same as the pre it's the same as the previous floor, after the investigation is over, everyone should gather to report about the investigation, like in the previous one. It's definitely better for a large number of people to report on the investigation. If you leave them alone, something will definitely happen. You should make sure that doesn't happen. Kinjo is really not going to return? I hate repeating this. You already know the answer. See you later. Kinjo's really a good guy if it was in a normal circumstance. No, I don't think so. But when a murder happens and a killer is revealed, he becomes a completely different person. No, see, here's the thing that you don't understand, Yuki. Is that he's not a completely different person. He is the same person. He's just like that. <laughs> he acts like that all the time. He is just hiding it most of the time. And even, not even that well. <laughs> Perhaps it's just a way of thinking that's been marked since childhood, in a twisted way that it took, such, took it in a strange manner. This is all because of Monokuma that involved us in this situation. Yeah, it's, it's totally Monokuma. Not any other red flags going on with this guy. <laughs> Hold on. Can I... Yeah, I can save. Okay, uh... I am going to get up for a second and grab something to snack while I do this, so I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Let's snack. Get this back up. <clears throat> Okie doke. Where to go now? I see we're we are all having a uh a talk about Kinjo in the chat. Ah. Uh, that makes sense. Okay, let's see. Hi, Noel. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, what? Oh, wrong thingy. Uh, nothing interesting in the bathroom. Who do we respect more, Kinjo or Komaida? Oh, Komaida, absolutely. I don't know. Like, what else is there to look around at that I haven't looked at already? Upstairs, the other chalkboard? I guess. Um. Yeah. The other chalkboard is just... <laughs> untranslated, because I guess the other one was already translated. I guess we can investigate the upstairs thing. Yeah, it's just gonna say that we can't go there. Does it want me to check the girls' bathroom? No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm mean, like, I guess it'll let me go back downstairs. There's more stuff open on the first floor. How come? Uh, where? Staircase. Stairs. Oh, wait. It's over here. It's, uh, to the down. I don't know why I didn't register that. Okay. So let's see. What's open now? Aha! Maida. Everyone with me came to investigate. I'm sorry. I want to do something about this, but everyone is so stubborn. As for me, I don't doubt you, Maida. It's okay. I think it's because everyone is confused now. Also, I see the infirmary is open now. Oh yes. There aren't many exceptional tools, but I think I can do first aid right away. Then after the class trial yesterday, Monokuma would have opened the infirmary, so... Hatano would get treatment. Yes, originally. Hatano should have been treated in here. But she couldn't because she was executed. Cheer up, Inori. At least in the future we can treat the injured, right? Hatano wouldn't want us to be sad either. I guess you're right. Then, I'll have to let everyone know later. If you get hurt, always come to the infirmary. Oh, and about Maida. Sorry if I repeat this, but I'm really sorry. I think everyone will change I think everyone will change their minds soon. Please be patient until then. Um, to be completely fair, like, I, I think Kinjo is definitely interesting. Um, although I am per more personally compelled by Komaida. I think uh, calling him generic uh, doesn't quite track with my opinion of him, but, you know, that's that's just me, though. I think there are some layers there. 
Looks like I searched every new place open. Oh, okay. That was the last thing I needed to check. Once the investigation is over, everyone doesn't seem to have solved their doubts yet, but I want to share the information we gathered. Why? So much dialogue in this game with dialogue in it. I need to eat. <laughs> In this case, if Kinjo had been there, he would have gathered the others with leadership, but now that Kinjo is being rejected by everyone. But even so, a new area survey needs to be done in groups. We can't make up for the parts that individual searches have missed. And things could end up really bad. Ah, Maida, I found you right away. Are we comparing uh, Kinjo to Oma? Because um, in that case, yeah, I mean, like, easily Kinjo in that case. Um, not that I don't think there's anything interesting about Oma. Um, I think there, I, honestly, I've said this before, but I think Oma is a more interesting character in concept than he is in particularly, particularly in execution, for the most part. Um, there are, like, some pretty good standout moments for Oma in V3, uh, but a lot of them don't really land the way I think they are supposed to. Um... But, yeah, and the art certainly doesn't help with that. <laughs> but, yeah, I would agree. I think he's a bit wasted. Um, but I think there are definitely some interesting uh, concepts there. I found you right away. You found me. Well, Kurokawa asked me to gather everyone. Not only Maida, but also Mikaru, Uehara, and Kinjo. Are you saying that we should all report about the investigation? There's another reason for that, but I think there's someone, something to tell everyone. Anyways, I'm glad I found you right away. I'm going to call the rest of Kinjo's group. So please go to the dining room first. What is Kurokawa doing? Well, at least this is good, thanks to her. We are able to report our findings together. And this kind of event that everyone gathers us, it builds us, and then it becomes a stone to unite us again. Good, let's go there at once. I don't really agree that Oma is just, like, just annoying and that's it. He, his character is, like, pretty thematically fundamental to the the narrative that V3 is trying to tell. Um, but it, like, yeah, it could have been done a lot better, though. That's, like, my general take, is that it could have been handled a lot better. But, like, you know, th like... What is baked into his character is baked into the narrative at large. So there is a reason that he is the way he is. Okie doke. Waiting for a while, I saw Uehara come in. Afterwards, Mikaru and Kinjo, with frowning expressions, they all came to the gathering. Why do I feel like it's been years since everyone gathered like this? No, wait a minute. Not everyone. Tyra's not here. Didn't you call Tyra? I kept calling in Tyra's room, but she still doesn't feel like coming out. Well, hard wounds don't heal that easily. Let's leave her a bit more space. It's nice to leave her alone, so why don't we make the rice on time? It doesn't seem to come out from the morning. Is anyone of, un, is everyone of, anyone available? If you're called to talk about this, I'll leave. <laughs> if you want to talk about being nice to our friends who are grieving, then there's no reason for me to be here. And yeah, I would, I would disagree also with Oma being a, a copy of Komaida. Like, I don't really think that, aside from like some surface level similarities that they're actually all that similar to each other um it's just that they're like both you know ooh, oh, I'm, I'm doing incendiary things but like you know they have a very different outlooks on people as well I agree. Let's talk about the issue quickly. 
what are you talking about? I just wanted to pull you all together and talk about the investigation and put everything in order. Didn't you report about your investigation on the second floor, excluding us? I don't think it would make much difference, even if you gather everyone now. By the way, you guys, if something interesting like this happens, you should let you should have let me know. The psycho police was finally rejected. <laughs> She's like, oh, what's this? Everybody hates Kinjo now? Everybody's on the same page as me? <laughs> I said that at the tri trial and finally it happens? Oh, it's so funny. I wasn't rejected, but I was fed, with, fed up with myself. And if you don't want to listen to me, then why don't you get out already? No, he's literally like, I don't not have friends. It's just that I recused myself from having friends. Actually, I'm the one who rejected them, you see. I wasn't the one that was rejected. I think we'd be better without the couple over there. No, it's better to do the report every, everyone together. Right, come to think of it, you were the one who you were the one who asked everyone to gather. Now why did you call for us that you had something to say? I'm not asking for an investigation report or, or being with all these people here. First report the investigation. Everyone needs to know. That's okay, but Kurikawa, you seem to have a motor running in your mouth these days. Words are coming out more frequent now. Uh, ignore Otori. First, as Kurikawa said, let's do the investigation report first. <laughs> well, it's been a while. I've been gathering together like this and reporting on an investigation. If we do it together, we can share information. Then I'll tell you for mine. Me and Yamaguchi found... Excuse me. The, inf the infirmary room. Huh? Infirmary? There was no such place in the third floor. That's because it's on the first floor, not the third floor. Oh, no, wait, that's... Yuki. <clears throat> that's because it's on the first floor, not the third floor. The infirmary... Uh the infirmary. Uh, yes. First, there was nothing unusual. There were many items that were easy for first aid, such as various medicines and bandages. There is no clue regarding the escape, but the infirmary is still open, so please come to me. If you get hurt, because I will always be in the infirmary. So there was an open place on the thir first floor? There was an open place on the first floor. I went to the third floor directly. That's right. Me and Hobazing found a casino on the third floor. Casino? What is that? I don't know what a casino is? It's literally a casino. Slot machines, pool tables, roulette games, darts, cards. There are many things you could play there. But a casino in a school, isn't it too much? I think it would be nice to have a break. You can laugh and play in there. And you're not doing it, right? Our purpose is to get out of here. There's no reason we'll like it just because our life here is getting rich. If you want, you could be a little more positive. If the others were if others were here, Maki and Higa, I'm sure they would be happy. Well, there was no clue to escape here either. Well, I went around the classrooms and checked the windows, but they were still covered with metal plates. So it was the same too. Was that everything on the third floor? There was an art room. Art room? For a school-like facility? What was in there? Nothing much. Oh hey, would you mind if I speak for a second? Actually, I found something weird in the art room. Something weird? I picked up a picture that was on the floor of the art room. In that picture, we were all in it. We were? Everyone here. And Tyra in her room. And all who weren't aren't here. Maki, Higa, Tomori, and Hantano. What? How is that possible? I don't remember taking a picture with you. No, I've never taken a picture since I was born. Satsuki like, I've never looked in a mirror, I've never posed for a picture, I do not know how I look. I could be a vampire for all I know. That's weird though. If we're the owners of that picture, didn't we meet for the first time at Hope Speak Academy a few days ago? That's why I mentioned it's weird. Maybe I'm confused, but everyone seems confused too. What? We have a picture that we don't remember. Did we lose our memories or what? Besides, there was an besides that, there was another strange thing. That photo was taken like a group photo, like on a school trip, but the center was torn. The way I saw it was as if someone was in that spot and they were deliber deliberately ripped. Someone else besides us? Were we not 15 in total? 
Is it? No way. The mastermind? That person who controls Monokuma trapped us in here. Wouldn't it be the person who controlled him? The one ripped off in the picture? I don't even remember taking that picture in the first place. What are you saying? We took a picture along with the mastermind? The existence of the picture itself is weird. Maybe Mr. Monokuma made it himself. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything other than that. Or maybe Maida's lying. What? Are you lying, Maida? I can't be. There's no reason to lie, and no reason to lie to your backs either. Maybe to confuse us or something? I can't fully trust Maida yet. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, not that I, not that I like, am discouraging uh, discussion or anything. But can we actually like just get back on like the topic of this game rather than the other DR games? I feel like it's just gonna gonna circle around. Everybody's got their takes. It's fine. But you know. That's cool. Everybody's cool. I just, you know, feel like the t the the chat's getting a little full of it. <clears throat> Take another bite. <clears throat> okay. This is an investigation report, right? I said what I found. Why do you suspect this? That's not not so good. But if you're dissatisfied, would you mind just showing the picture? That's not possible. Monokuma took it before I could do anything else. Monokuma did? Then there's no evidence. You really lied, didn't you? That's really troublesome. I trust my friends, you know. What? If you don't know a thing, then stay quiet. In his secret note, might have turned out to be aware of the mastermind. And he could be, for all we know. Because I fell asleep during all that, I'm not so sure. I'm not particularly on his side, but the picture is real, so beat the useless doubts already. You... how do you know that? It was in the art room when Maida... Yuki Maida... I was in the art room when Yuki Maida picked up the photo. However, even though I don't know the contents of the picture, it's true that you picked up something similar to a picture. Mikaru, stop. I just prevented the story from going down the road by... <laughs> what do you mean by this? I just prevented the story from going down the road by fucking thanks. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, even if what Maida said is true, um... Is it just Monokuma's manipulation? Want a rough translation? Yeah, I... I <laughs> maybe, perhaps. I mean, like, I kind of get what is being implied. It's just kind of like, you know, I, I prevented the discussion from going off track, you're welcome, kind of thing, I assume. But <laughs> it's just very funny. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Can't help it after discussing things that I'm not sure about. Let's just skip ahead. And listen to the other investigation sites. I agree. It's not really a clue that can help us escape anyways. But are there other investigations besides this one? Oh, there's one more. The new classroom. We have a science lab on the third floor. A room for science, you say? <laughs> that's, that's a way to say it. Uh, yeah, we have a science room. A room for science. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a, uh, we have a gym. A room for sports. <laughs> There are several experimental device, devices, drugs, but that's not what matters. Everyone take a look at this. I showed everyone the album book I found on the science lab. Ah, Dusty, dust, at you, at you. That's... I was Peak Academy 58th graduation album. 58? Were there more seniors? It's the graduation album of one person by the name of Kisara Kisaragi Hanzo. By now he must be an old person. Kisaragi. What's wrong, Kurikawa? Is he an acquaintance of yours? That's the most surprised I have ever seen her. 
What's wrong about it? And who's this person? And also, you said this old person's album was in the science lab? That's a mystery. Besides, there are no other seniors. It was only this guy alone. Why did I immediately think of... Hold on. I'm so sorry for holding up the stream like this, but... The lone text box of Yuki saying, that's a mystery, just made me think of... If you don't know, don't worry about it. Anyway. <clears throat> Back to the game. I always think of that. Every time the phrase, it is a mystery, or that's a mystery, comes up. That is in my head. If you ever say those words to me, just know that is going through my mind at that moment. What are you going to do, psycho policeman? You get you you've been getting a sick look since we began. Why is that? Shut up. It's just that I don't feel the need to participate with preliminary criminals. Well, even so, Kinjo, if you found a clue to escape, it's important to share information. Forget it. They don't want to escape with us together. By the way, this graduation album is really confusing me. This is everything, right? This is all I found on the third floor. There's no clue to get it out this time. T underscore T. She's... She, Satsuki, she's the, the mastermind collaborator. She can use emojis like Monica McCann. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. This doesn't seem to be a clue to escape, but is it okay if I take a minute of your time? What is it, Uehara? I actually found something in an empty classroom. What is that? A c oh, a cell phone. <laughs> it's it's an old cell phone, so it took me a second to uh, realize that that's even what it was. It doesn't look like an iPhone, therefore I'm confused. No. <laughs> it was in an empty classroom desk drawer on the third floor. I was going to tell everyone, but it worked out in the end since we all gathered here like this. Yeah, do, do you have games on that phone? Does it? Does it have Flappy Bird? <laughs> no, it's an N gauge. It has a Sonic N on it. That's the game, right? That's like the, the, the N gauge port of Sonic Advance. Sonic N. No, I'm not an iPad baby. Uh, the first phone that I, I can't even remember the brand of phone that I had, but like the first cell phone I had was, um, Oh no, yeah, it was, uh, I do remember actually, it was a Razer flip phone. And then I got one of those ones where you could slide it up and it had like a little keyboard underneath. It took a very long time for me to get a touchscreen phone. A slide phone, it's boring. It's a 2G phone in the world these days. <laughs> he was really just calling me out right then. That's not important, whether it's 2G or 3G, because it's a mobile phone, you can talk, right? We need to contact the outside as soon as possible. Request for a rescue. No, we can't get on those 5G towers. <laughs> Nobody's gonna respond to us. Now wait, as far as I can tell, I carefully guessed that in this situation, that cell phone is most likely broken. <laughs> okay. No, it works fine. The battery, however, is low, but there's a charging cable. Next to where the phone was, so you can use it any time. <laughs> is Monica gonna be like, pops out, you can't charge your phone. Um, I'm using that USB. That port is occupied. Um, my PS4 is plugged up there, so you can't use it. Declined foresight. <laughs> Another emoji. Is it true? Is it working? That's indeed great. It's the most helpful discovery so far. A call hasn't been made yet. It's the first time I turned it on in front of you guys. 
Mr. Uehara, call someone quickly. We might be able to get out. Understood. As Uehara responds, they start using the phone. But, huh? What are you doing now? No, I mean, how... How do you call from this? What? Are you an illiterate person? Have you lived in the mountains or something? Um, he is actually, he's just a man of God, so, you know, he doesn't use, uh, sinful devices like s cell phones. He doesn't know anything about that. He doesn't get on Instagram. He would be tempted to sin if he did that. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Treating a strange per treating a strange person, I believe you mean treating a person like they're strange because they can't use a mobile phone. It's all good. At least you know how to turn it on. <laughs> then give it to me. I'll try calling. Sorry, if you could if you could please do. Uehara handed over the mobile phone to Yamaguchi, and then everyone, even Kinjo and Mikaru, paid attention to Yamaguchi. Of course we are. If we can get out of here, we no longer need to doubt each other, and the anxiety about when the murder will happen will disappear. Yeah, I don't know about that. You're getting your hopes up a little bit too, uh, too high. While everyone was so nervous and watching Yamaguchi operating the cell phone... Th this... its signal doesn't reach. Everyone. <laughs> Text box for everyone. <laughs> What is this cheap gag comic like ending? What do you mean by signal? Isn't a cell phone a machine that can call from anywhere? Don't worry about it, stay quiet. That's unfortunate. I thought we might be able to get out from this situation finally. Hey, muscle pig, give it to me. <laughs> muscle pig? Okay, here you go. Mikaru, what are you trying to do? Mikaru picks up the cell phone and starts to fiddle with it. It's a problem in this area that's the issue. Everything else is working fine. Except for how dusty it is. One interesting thing is... She got the- she is the original owner of this thing. Original owner? Isn't it from one of the students at Hope Peak Academy that lost it or something like that? Look at this and repeat that sentence. Mikaru manipulated the phone for a bit, and then she showed us the screen for everyone. What appeared on the screen was... Oh! Maki! This is Maki? Why is Maki's picture on- oh, why is Maki's picture on that phone? The face that's smiling so brightly with friends on the screen was the figure of Kyoka Maki that we all know so well and that we already been unable to see in this world anymore. Very interesting. Why, you ask? That's because the owner of this cell phone is Kyoka Maki. Huh? Maki, she brought her cell phone. No, then that would mean we all brought them too. But they disappeared after coming into the school. The image folders are opened, but the rest says a password's needed or the data will be corrupted and erased. Well, it's a big deal. So here, take it. Oh, right. Maki's cell phone. If Maki was alive, we could have asked her about it. Hey, but don't you think something's amiss? If you think about this carefully, Hope's Peak is out of signal from outside. It doesn't work because of all the iron plates and the blocked entrance? But Hope Speak Academy is in the middle of Tokyo, right? A simple blockade would lead to a lockdown that means a currency break. What exactly happened to us? First, let's hold on to this. Take care of your phone. Well, what can we do? No phone calls and data could be destroyed. Uehara just found it, right? Then keep it. Touch your cell phones and study it. So you don't become the illiterate anymore. <laughs> this is such a perfect encapsulation. <laughs> of a uh, of a lot of things right now just this line right here and the way it is written <laughs> there's no inconvenience if you know how to use a home phone but if you want me to keep it i'll have to learn so please tell me what i need to do then the next investigation to report I guess we're done then. Eventually, we couldn't find a clue to escape from here again. Let's not give up yet. If we keep looking, something else might come out. Or someone else might come out. It's still June. There's still lots of days left in June. 
I don't want to hear that from a fake friend. You still doubt me? I'm not a traitor. Now the investigation report's over, so let's go ahead and speak. The real reason for bringing us here. Mikako Kurakawa, you did this calling, right? You have something to say to everyone. Speak. I put up with the disgust and stayed in one place with the preliminary criminals to this point, so I hope you get to your speech soon. See what he's talking about now? I feel the same too, honestly. I think doing this now is a waste of time. So would you like to tell us quickly what this is all about? The real reason I- the reason I called you here. I need to show you all something. I think everyone should look at this. What do you want to show us? Tyra's not here, so it's everyone. This way. Follow me. We decided to go after Kurokawa first without knowing the reason. Is it because Kurokawa, without a word, spread wants to show it? Okay. Interesting. Sorry that I keep pausing, it's just... I don't want to read with food in my mouth. Kurokawa, isn't this the warehouse? There's something here? Among you. <gasps> Among us? Some of you might want to ask me, don't you? When we began the class trial yesterday, the reason for being late. It was related to this. I'll tell you why. I was late. Could someone please look at the bookshelf in front of me? Huh? Why all of a sudden? Yesterday in the dorms, I went to look for anything. To investigate. While wandering around, I found this. I heard a person's voice from behind it. You heard a human voice behind the bookshelf? G ghost <sighs> There's something behind this. Hey, men, go ahead. Uh, what's in there? <laughs> hey, men, go ahead. We were surprised by Kurokawa's words, and we removed the bookshelf in front of us. And what we found was... Is it the jail? This is... What was behind the bookshelf was not a, uh, not a hard wall, but a large hole enough for a person to fit through and a staircase leading into it. There's a hole in the back of the warehouse. Besides, there's even a staircase going down? Yes. The staircase? Where does it lead to? You heard a human voice coming from here, Kurokawa? Was it a voice from the outside? This is an exit to get out. An exit, right? I'm not sure if we're leaving. However, this looks dangerous. Is it okay to go in? It seems obvious that it leads to a new place. If that's the case, we have no choice but to go. I've been checking in and out of the warehouse all this time, but a new place has only been just discovered just recently. I thought this might be the exit we were all reaching for, so my body started to get excited more and more. But then, when everyone stopped hesitating and tried to step into the secret entrance... Hey, no! Do not enter! Not here! Uh, Monokuma! Do you know the place you're trying to enter? This is a no-entry zone, you got it? No-entry zone? Below this place, we trapped very fierce creatures with sharp claws and very crazy, too. <laughs> I love the way that's phrased. Sharp creatures with sharp claws and very crazy, too. There's billions of them down below. And the billions? Where are such terrifying creatures in the school? Where does this child imagination? Where is this? Does this child's imagination going? Since you said that, now I have to go further. Now I have to go further down. Get out of my way. No, Mr. Monokuma has a duty to keep you all from danger. It's like if you go down there, it'll be a suicidal act. Are you fine with that? Don't lie. We heard from Kurokawa that she heard human voices inside. You can't expect to hear voices from such dangerous creatures. I agree. Or is this is that an exit that you prevent us from leaving? Is that it? No, you really can't enter here. There's a very dangerous creature. Just move already. I can't use violence because of the school rules. Oh, could that be it? Maybe the reason Monokum is so nervous means there's definitely something below. <laughs> well, if you really want to go down there, I won't meddle. But I warn you all, you better pay attention to the ceiling of the stairs while going down. When I listened to Monokuma and looked inside for a moment, I noticed a faintly long metal flashing. That's some kind of weapon, right? machine gun pretty right if you go down there the machine gun's target may turn red and it'll turn you into a honeycomb if that's fine for you then go down this damn toy 
Ah, I told you not to do that. I'm doing this to keep you guys from danger. I said this clearly already. It looks like there's really an exit below this or something that could be the root of our situation. I don't know what Miss Makari was talking about, but don't go down anyway. I'll stand still until you get out of here, and you won't tell me not to do it. What do we do? Even if there's an exit here, we can't leave anyway, because Tyra's not here. We can't leave, not now. That's true. Well, it's regrettable, but now we have to retreat, right? Go back then! I'm, I shadow clone jutsu myself! What is that? An increased one more? This is an afterimage. It's so fast that it looks like two. I am the gatekeeper of this place now. You can't help it. Let's leave for now. Yes, I had enough income to know that there was something important down there. I don't... I don't anything of what you guys mean at all. I don't anything of what you mean at all either, sir. Then let's do that. Kurokawa, will you be okay? Yeah. Damn it. Monokuma only interferes when it's really important. I really wanted to know what was down there, but as Inori said, there must be something very crucial that Monokuma reacts this way. We'll look into that sometime later. As I thought about that, oh, oh my god, it's stinging. You're, you're right. <laughs> as I thought about that and left the warehouse, we went back to the dining room. I was Monokuma. I was moving really fast. Ah. Well, what do we do now? Kurokawa is in that state now. What to do? There's no way now. It's clear that there's something on the hidden stairs in the warehouse. If only we had a chance to look, we could search downstairs. I'll say. Was I'll say. Wasn't it wrong that everyone went together? Why is that? That's gotta be it. There are imposters among us. Isn't that an attempt to escape with the traitor? Then of course you'll be caught by Monokuma. Otori, why are you looking at me while you say that? Stop it. Even if there's a person who's an imposter, none of us contacted Monokuma. It's most likely that Monokuma was probably watching the surveillance cameras. Oh, right. Almost forgot the existence of those surveillance cameras. Uh, then we should be careful while talking about important things in the future. Hey, lunatics. Now that this is all over, I'll go. If you're not sure of some finding, don't call me. Now Kinjo doesn't want to spend time with anyone. Leave him. That guy's no good. It's not just Kinjo. You two will distrust someone. Someday you will distrust each other. I'll see you next time, friends. I'll be taking my leave as well. If you need the mobile phone, please speak to me. <laughs> don't call me. You don't have a phone. <laughs> Everyone, all of us are shaken. The situation was increasingly moving in the opposite direction from what I wanted. Maida, are you gonna stay? I guess you still can't believe me? Rather than not believing, how do I say this? You've seen it, have you've seen it, haven't you? He's a liar, even though there's definitely something downstairs. You all believe in my secret note written by Monokuma more than me. The situation which you all doubt me right now is according to Monokuma's scheme. Just a little. Give us time to think a little. I'm sorry, Maida. It seems to be in vain with everyone now. I have no choice but to be avoided for now. I hope you all, I hope you make a wise choice. Because I am always the one I know I am. Since you're my friends, I'll believe in you. He's being so moody, this chapter. I mean, like, I, I kind of get it, but also it's just very funny how, like, dramatic he's being. Kinjo is avoiding us. Meikaru and Uehara is still around, and everyone doubts me. Tyra doesn't even want to come out of the room. This is the worst. The worst possible outcome. Still, I shouldn't lose hope, right? The secret staircase in the warehouse. If I believe there's a clue to escape, there is still a ray of hope in this situation. If I can leave this place with everyone, all our worries will be resolved. Let's wait for a chance. I cannot lose hope. I cannot lose hope anymore. I'm sorry, I can't do free time events because they're not. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just generally keeping the attitude now of, like, viewing free time events as people die, to be completely honest. Also, yes, just saying this daily life goes for a lot longer than the others. 
I had gotten that impression. <laughs> anyway. Let's bed. Let's sleep. I slept like a dead man and it became night. I decided to not go around late at night so I went to rest in my room. Chapter 4's daily life is really long in the future. Goody, goody! Yeah, we've been here for a while. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. and it's such nighttime. Yep. Taking a moment to eat while I can. I'll believe in that chance. Yep. I was so dizzy and difficult. Even organize my thoughts, best to forget everything and sleep. It's hoping for a better tomorrow and sleep for now. There's still a few rules that Kinjo original, well, originally set when he was the leader. One is having breakfast together, and the others did not leave our rooms at night. However, Kinjo, the one who set the rules, is left on his own, all suspected of being an imposter, so he's kicked out from the group. Well, yeah, it did take us about a half hour to do the uh, FTEs, so you'd shave that off the runtime. Nevertheless, I decided to follow my own will. I think that maybe everyone will make that decision soon, too. Now I'll go to the restaurant tomorrow morning to have a meal, and if I stop talking with them, I'm sure they'll start believing in me. Bed. Oh, okay. Let me finish chewing so I can get to this spicy dialogue. Fine. Yes, finally. It is all over with this. Everything. It's over. All of it will end. This is despair. But you have such, gr such a great despair. I will follow you. Always. See, that's that's the kind of stuff that makes me suspicious of him. He's had like these weird red text dreams like at least a few times now. And every time it happens, I'm always like there's something weird about that. Literally. Literally, yes. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Morning? Uh, I think I just had some strange dream. The pizza's here. Hello, everyone. It's morning. It's 7 o'clock. Wake up time. Then let's have a lively day, too. Could the phone guy be Junko and Oshima? <laughs> Could they be one and the same? As we all know, Security Breach DLC is coming out this year. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's go to the dining room first, and once again, this time, I'm going to convince everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little upset that uh, apparently I can uh, do a good map pat. I didn't think until I did it, but when I did it, I realized the evil that I am capable of. <laughs> The strange Orpal girl. <laughs> First thing I noticed as soon as I entered the dining room. Yeah, uh, do we need to be wary of what's about to happen? Somebody in the chat that knows what happens in this game? The tig... <laughs> the, I know. <laughs> Sorry. The trigger isn't here yet, but... <laughs> the tigger isn't here yet. <laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> immediately thought about... You know.
Okay. Yeah, it's later. It was her appearance. Tyra. Oh, yeah. She's like, mmm. She's blue screen of death over there. Thank God you're out of the room. For a moment, I thought this was a fortunate moment, but soon I realized that Tyra's condition was a little different than usual. A nice, uh, Ultra Despair Girls music here, by the way. Tyra's... Ugh, excuse me. Tyra's been in that state since this morning. She came here faster than anyone, and I thought she recovered. Oh, the greeting is late. Good morning, Maida. Good morning. It's not... Oh, why is Maida naturally joining the meal in this mor in, in the morning? That's right. How many times is he gonna? Is this gonna happen? We can't do activities with imposters that know the mastermind. You don't really believe that. Of course we do. No matter how much of a good guy Might is, he has good behavior, and he's shown great success in the other in the in the class trials. He takes good care of others, and he's a nice and funny guy too. So what's bad about Yuki? There are so many good points on him. Uh, patience there. Anyways, I can't accept Maida right away, with the big question left behind in the air. So, how can you trust me, then? Well, if there's any evidence that makes Maida clear they're not an imposter, then... All I can do is claim my innocence. Whether you guys believe in me or not depends on how much you side with Monokuma's tricks. The room went silent. Everyone seemed to be hesitating in some way, but it seemed that they couldn't quite decide. <laughs> the, the real mastermind is uh, Maida's pillow. Yeah, when he goes to sleep, he just hears his pillow like, Oh, the time has finally come. Your despair is so strong. Ah, and then he gets up and he's like, what? What the fuck? And like his pillow was like, oh, no, sorry. <clears throat> he gets, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, that was such a stupid bit. <laughs> hey, what are you guys so worried about? Oh, okay. DR1 ending music. Okay, sure. Huh? Even if you say that Yuki is the one who knows the mastermind, they're not the mastermind, right? After all, the bad person is the mastermind in the end. And if you guys really like Yuki, can't you just get along with him or whatever? What? Man, that's so easy to say. It means that you're on the side of the mastermind then. Can we trust a person like that? Then we just have to be better than the mastermind and make the imposter betray them. Iranami. She is actually so based for this. She's actually so, so big-brained and smart. Satsuki best character, as usual. Common Satsuki W. Make them betray the mastermind. I like Yuki, Yuki a lot. Isn't that the same for you guys? That's... I do, but... Then it's decided. Don't bother with them or whatever. Just be a friend. If I suspect someone I hate because it makes... Yeah, if I suspect someone, I hate because it makes my head hurt. I guess Iranami is not someone who's aiming for words or thinking too deeply. She just said something that she wanted to say so purely. And such words coming from Iranami moved everyone's hearts. <sighs> okay, fine, I lost. Kabashikawa? Let's just talk to him. Rather than worrying about him for whatever reason, I think it'd be better if we stay together. Yes, Iranami's words are the right answer. Yeah, rather than staying away from Maida and regretting even if he turns out to be an imposter, there's less to regret by being together, I think. Yeah, let's just act with Maida like usual. But are you really okay? What if I really become a traitor? Now, if you say it like that, you don't feel like you're a part of it. You'll just have to accept it too. I believe we did this wrong from the beginning. You guys. Oh, but only Maida. Kinjo will never be accepted. There's no exception. That's right, there's no way to be able to talk to him. In the end, everyone believed me. I'm actually a little bit worried about Satsuki now, though. I'm like, oh, she has such a nice and wise moment. And now I'm like, is she going to die? Is she going to die in like five minutes? <laughs> because it was Iranami, where words came before thinking, actually. This would have happened, too, if the others thought like Iranami. Little by little, I'm regaining my trust again. It was the first and foremost step of our goal to escape. Now that I'm back with you guys, I was curious about something. Well, being all gathered in the morning like this means that you're going to continue with Kinjo's rules. Kinjo's someone who I don't really like, but he sure does know how to maintain safety. Before Maida came in, I was about to check the number of people and have breakfast. Man, I'm so hungry. 
All right, then let's continue to have breakfast together and not come out at nighttime. <laughs> and then Tyra's still just sitting there, like, completely, like, blank. I don't think she even noticed Maida coming in. Does Yuki want to know what we've been doing before you came? Well, the secret stairs that Kurokawa showed yesterday. We also talked about Kinjo and Maida. I couldn't pretend to hear it. She must have been shocked because of Hatano. She must have been shocked because of Hatano. Hatano. She said something. Wow, the only thing that she will say is Hatano's name. Very, uh... Very straight behavior. Oh yes, when it comes to the name Hatano, she reacts like that shortly. But after that, it's all the same. Inori, weren't you a doctor of some kind? How can we treat her? Actually, I'm not a doctor, but a surgeon. You could say I'm the kind that heals physical wounds. However, I don't have the ability to heal such wound, such as wounds from the heart. That should be seen by a psychiatrist. And we don't have any of those. <laughs> For some reason, there seems to be two Kurikawas now. That's... Shut up, dude. Joe, Kabashikawa, don't make jokes like that. I was? Sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I guess there's something the girls hate w this... There's something... Sorry, I... Brain died there for a second. Or they just like hitting me. Inori, do that one more time. Joe, that was cute. Huh? Oh, sorry. I have a habit to stop patients like that. Please forget it. It's embarrassing. It seems the mood is more relaxed than yesterday. Feeling the air lighter, we decided to begin our breakfast. <laughs> Not cool, Haruhiko. Don't say that again. <laughs> the broly. Not cool, Squidward. Don't say that again. After breakfast, we started to investigate again. Investigating was important, but I was also worried about Tyra. Once she tried to eat her meal, even if it was burned, she continued to eat in that wasteful bowl or even pour water in it, etc. She was in a bad condition that she could not think herself. But what can we do with our own power? There was nothing we could do to ease her pain, but we decided to wait for time to heal her. If we get out of this terrible place, we'll be able to make some progress. Let's do a little more research and look for clues. Morning. Okay. Well, save real quick. I guess we're looking around then. Oh yeah, didn't we? There was something said about memos being in the uh, antique room, right? Um, that's all Korean. Can't read any of that. Um. Hmm. What is- okay, now it says- now it's in English. <laughs> Alright. Kizuna's is very helpful for this chapter, and Ayame's is good too. Well, let's try Kizuna's then. Tomori Kizuna's ability, Formation C, 75 medals, automatic recharge of bullets and TTS. Ooh, that is good. Alright, let's do it. How many medals do I have right now, actually? Can I see that anywhere? Does it? Oh, I have 113. Okay, uh, so let's see what is IMAs. Uh, 100 medals, increased movement speed on every floor. Okay, don't buy that yet. I wanna look at the other ones real quick. Removes nonstop debate shaking. Oh, what's uh, mi uh, Mitch's? Two times speed, speech recovery speed per phase. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Kamaki's real quick, and then yeah, I don't have enough for uh, the run now. But I mean, like my speed is like okay. It's not like that bad or anything. So I think I'll be okay for now. Why am I going in here? <laughs> Okay.
Well, actually, now that I did that, let's save. Okay. It's Satsuki. Oh, is this a free time? I thought we were supposed to be investigating. Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's <laughs> his head looked like a mailbox for some reason. Yeah, I don't think the FTEs are translated this chapter. Okay, it is FTE time. I just like, I got confused because he said something about investigating, so I figured that it was like, oh, I gotta look around and investigate stuff. Well, let's go back to sleep then. Oh no, not here. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, did get the mementos though. <laughs> Engaging in sloth. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time I go to sleep now. Like if I take a nap, I'm just gonna be like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm engaging in sloth. <laughs> Wrong sin. I pulled this bag over because I ran out of drink. That's Kurikawa? What is she doing there? Kurikawa, what are you doing? Maida. I was looking at the ceiling. I don't know. Kurikawa, after Hatano's trial was over, haven't you gotten a little cold with me ever since? Dunno. Go to bed. <laughs> She's like, I know you're just sleeping all day. Go back to that room of yours, sleepy boy. <laughs> Stop hassling me. Why don't you just go on to sleep? Oh god. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that would be very helpful. Uh, I will, I will let you know uh, if I like when, when I uh, plan to do that. If I do though, because I wouldn't want to like say just like go ahead and do something that intensive. Like, you know, if it like it'll probably take me a really long time to get to that point, or maybe not a really long time, but you know, like a, a decently long time to get to that point. That's what that's what I'm saying. It's okay if you don't want to talk. It's late at night. <clears throat> so I'm ready to go into my private dorm. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for offering. That's really nice of you. I'm a little worried that Kurikawa isn't doing anything bad. Let's go to bed for today and work hard to investigate tomorrow. Yeah, um... Transcripts are actually very helpful for me in the production of my videos because... Um, instead of having to like comb back through all of the footage that I have for uh, text heavy games, if there's like something uh, that I want to like VA, for example, I can just like go back through the transcript and pick it out. Pick it out. Um, although that has actually made the process of making the Ace Attorney videos very funny because all of the trend, like all of the transcripts for the games, are usually from the DS versions, and there are lots of like minor dialogue tweaks in the HD footage. So like every time I have like a voice recording from part of the game, like like eight out of ten times uh, I will go to like put it to the footage and like the dialogue will be slightly different <laughs> this is progress I was fortunate enough that everyone believed in me today yeah uh, there are like full transcripts on like uh, I think some of them are on like game facts um, but also uh, there are like full transcripts for every case on the uh, Ace Attorney wiki as well. I'll remain in my room tonight and go to the dining room and eat tomorrow morning.
after Tomari and Hatano died, it was a little bit, it was a little bit, but something started to grow between us. In the midst of those thoughts, I fell asleep little by little as well. Yuki Maida, ultimate sleeper. I could be the ultimate sleeper too, honestly. This, this is a talent that I would be able to upkeep. Oh, it's already morning. I should have I should have breakfast with everyone. Let's go. Ooh, lots of food. Everyone gathered for the usual breakfast, but I felt a sense of discomfort in the air. Everyone feels the exhaustion, being wary of anything that may happen. Everyone's quiet. We came back with Maida to dine together, but let's eat with more enthusiasm and talk about something. Even if you want more enthusiasm, I'm too tired to do something. Where can I get out of here? Boredom, is it? By the way, what happened to Tyra? She's completely out. This isn't a person, it's just a wax doll. You know, Tyra's role was to make the room more brighter than anyone else. Because of this, everyone seems to have no energy to smile anymore. Tyra, stop hitting your heart. If you keep striking it like that, will you be able to touch your chest? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, at least everybody else is on the same page as me, I guess. Eh? What is it? Why are you suddenly looking at me with such cold gazes? I was just trying to make a joke. I'm kidding. You're right, but that's low. By the way, about Tyra, is it really okay to wait for time to solve her emotions? Isn't it getting worse? But what can we even do in this situation? Frankly, I do feel that Tyra con Tyra's condition seems to be getting worse. She's been, yeah, yeah, it is the one picture of the girls with the solo cups. <laughs> She's been staying in the dining room ever since she came to the restaurant yesterday. In the morning. Before nighttime, she would have stayed in the dining room if I didn't br bring her to a private room. Is that badly? Once we're finished, let's continue investigating. Yeah, I'm not really sure why, but there's a secret staircase in the warehouse. Sure, there's bound to be something in there. We just gotta find a way through it. Be quiet, you idiot. There's surveillance cameras here, too. Have you forgot? They can hear our voices on the cameras. Whoa, sorry, sorry. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's nothing, Monokuma. I just said a game. I was talking about a game, but I got stuck in that one area. <laughs> you can't even play games here. <laughs> I, was, I was playing the new uh, uh, um, Final Fantasy in my room because I can get those here. I bought it from Amazon. <laughs> Shopping on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is still a bit too early to despair. I'm sure I'll be able to escape soon. While tanking away my worries, we ended our breakfast with a little cluttered feeling. God, I'm going to be thinking about that. Like, <laughs> Just saying, how long will you continue to play for? Uh, probably not like that much longer. Um, I think I'll probably like start wrapping in like the next 15 to 20 minutes or something like that i wish today we could make some progress before tyra's condition gets worse let's move <laughs> morning in korean oh maida great timing what's wrong kabushikawa we just ate together yeah hey i have a favor to ask you what is it so suddenly asking sounds fishy Maida, please get in the casino slot machine. Please, I ask of you. Get in the casino slot machine? <laughs> I'm asking you like this. I need your strength. No, why do you want me to be in slot machines? Isn't investigating more important? That's because there's a fact that I found out after playing at the casino for a few days. When you get three number seven in the slot machine, a lot of cash and money comes out. Isn't that a jackpot? Are you serious? Oh, I know. I have to do some investigation too. Don't worry about it. But I was wondering if it would be better to have some money when we get out. All the facilities here are for free. It's great to get get make money by getting it for free, right? Yes, that's all Kabashikawa thinks about. But even if you say it's good, why are you asking me for that? I've never played in a slot machine. Ah, pretending not to know. Maida, you're the ultimate lucky student. Isn't that right? With that ability, it would be like eating rice cakes with that slot machine. Uh, that's not it at all. I'm just an ordinary boy who was selected for Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, wait, hold on. Duh. 
<laughs> POV, you're Haruhiko Kabashikawa making a joke. It's a picture of the girls with the solo red cups. Hold on, I'm gonna retweet this. <laughs> Very true. Okay. <clears throat> By the process of lottery. Don't lie. That Then what about that poker game that you showed to Irinami and me two days ago? I don't know if I even... I didn't even know the rules of poker in the first place. It's just beginner's luck. So in a nutshell, you were lucky when you tried the first time, right? That's great, then. You never said you... You said you never tried a slot machine for the first time, too. Come on, let's go. Hey! I'm in trouble now. He's already glistening his eyes towards me. Whatever I say won't work. How do I make this idiot listen to me? I have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm just an ordinary boy who gets told dark secrets by my evil pillow. <laughs> Is this going to become another uh, another meme for the uh, Danganronpa and other streams alongside... What was the first one? Was it just the word kitchen? It was like kitchen knife, right? Something like that. You keep doing this, I'll tell the girls that you're getting sick for money, and I'll reveal that you wanted to get money rather than escape. What? Midas rightful, threatening me using the girls. Don't do that, my image will... It will sink into the abyss. Well, sports also, yeah. It's... Oh god, wearing these headphones for so long hurts my ears. <clears throat> I think you've already accumulated a broken image during the past few days. It's because this makes nonsense. Do some investigation instead with that time. I don't have the confidence I'll do well with slot machines. I'm sure Kabush Cow will get disappointed. I'm putting a lot of thought into it. That... Korean? Okay. Alright. Sure. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, tell me more, buddy. Okay. Am I supposed to follow him? <laughs> or did I not get the scene because of like some item requirement or something? Let's just go and see what happens, I guess. Oh wait, wrong direction. Well, there's the slot machine. And it's still in Korean. Well, there's him. It's still Korean. Oh, wait. This is a free time event of his, isn't it? It is. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. What? I don't even have any objects to give you. What? What? How do you do it again? Oh, it's a gift. Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know. What would you like? Yeah, I guess you need. I I guess it's like one of those special. Uh, yeah, it's like a special event in DR where it's like you need a specific item for the scene to happen. Uh, well, if somebody uh, has not a video of that scene, then uh, maybe we can look at it next time. If somebody sends it to me. Uh, I don't know. What do you want? Do you want a mobile wallet? An antique mug? The, the leaves of the world tree? <laughs> I forgot that was an item. That was crazy. I don't know. I'll give you a wallet. Sure, why not? Who cares? Well, you seem happy about it. I, I presume that this conversation is going great. This is a... Uh, we're having a... We're having a great time here with our friend that makes terrible jokes at the worst times. I presume he's probably doing a little bit of that right now. What a what a great guy. Loved that conversation. 
my uh my my pilot friend who disappears who uh who teleports out of the room mic testing can you hear me <laughs> i know it's sudden but you're getting used to it right i have something to show you guys come to the gym immediately after hearing this broadcast if you don't come, you know what will happen, even if I don't tell you, right? I'll be waiting for you in the gym. <laughs> oh no, it's motive time. A Monokuma announcement? He's trying to summon us. Is he going to give us a motive again? Damn it, they're just plotting some weird trick again. Wow, he, they, Monokuma? But if we don't go, he's going to kill us. They'll all be there anyway, so let's go. Hello, you're all here. What are you trying to do this time? There's something, some strange booth or something here now. You summoned all of us at this timing for a specific reason, didn't you? Specific? It's the motive. Another motive? You want to repeat that again? Haha, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, motives or anything like that. All I want is to show you at once just a normal video. I want you all to log into the computers in the computer lab and visit a website called Meat Spin. <laughs> I promise it's totally normal. Don't make me laugh. What normal video? Being you, it must be a weird video. Is that so? But it's really not a big deal. It's up to you to think that this will become a motive. What? What are you trying to say? Now then, it's time to show the video. And the time is... A desire video, yes. It's a video showing what most of you are a wish you are craving to obtain in your lives right now. Oh, uh, yeah. If you don't, if you don't know what that is, then um, please do not get curious. <laughs> desire. No, not lemon party. Video. That's right. But each has different contents. Everything you're, you guys are hoping for will be different. Isn't that pointless? All of us would like the same thing. What else do we want? Other than to get out of here. Oh, but you see, since I've seen everything through the surveillance cameras, I know. More than you need to know. So please enjoy. Whatever you, whatever you show to us, we're not going to kill anyone. Yeah, that's right. Do you think we're going to lose to this? Wow, what's this? Some boy cartoon-like hot development? That's not bad. But please take a look at it and talk later. Like the last secret note, go to a private room next to me in order of calling. Which is a closed room with no light. And it is completely soundproof, so there's no leakage. Now then, the first to begin is, yes, how about we start with you? Maida. What? Why me? What does it matter? I'll send the others anyway. Don't you know that the first one is m the most comfortable? Oh, by the way, this is also the order of the principal. There's no way out. You already know this without me telling you, right? Damn it, fine. I'll go see it. Myra, will you be okay? You see something weird, tell us. Ah, one moment. Anything you see in here is not allowed to be spoken. Yeah, play in chat. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to be cute. Like, don't actually Google it. <laughs> you are not even allowed to show your reaction to the video to anyone. You are not allowed to upload a reaction video to YouTube.com. If you dare speak, you will be punished. Domineering! Your time inside shall be of three minutes per individual. Now go on, Mitakun. Have fun watching. Honestly, this motive seems very disturbing. I'll have to put up with it. <laughs> I open the door of the private room. Well, uh, we can't stream this part. Monokuma said so. <laughs> no. And don't worry about it, Noel. <laughs> with little determination. <laughs> Reacting to Monokuma's desire video. Almost died, not clickbait. <laughs> uh, okay. Any video could come. Anyone, Everyone believed in me. It's not too late at this point. So it's time to get it together. At times like this, I can't be shaken for motives. I made a strong commitment. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, Photoshop Flowey. We're about to, about to fight Flowey, yeah. <laughs> Anything, even if the family video from last time comes out, I'll never be shaken. I made this pledge as I prepare myself. 
Now then, what is Yuki... Oh, now is... What is Yuki Maeda's most desired thing for the ultimate lucky student? Please enjoy it with your three minutes playtime. <laughs> it's very interesting to specify the playtime. And the following video shattered my commitment. Turn down your volume. Oh boy, okay, hold up, hold up. Yeah, let me just uh, mute that real quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait and see if anything else uh, shows up. Huh? What came out of the crude screen was the embarrassing video of a woman who I don't recognize. In other words, it was a crude AV. Oh, Maidakun, that's nasty. Did you desire something like this? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not unmuting the game until after I'm sure that it's not happening again. What are you scheming showing me this? What? Ain't that obvious? Is what Maida desires the most, that that's what's showing. A hearted woman. <laughs> Um, but don't don't worry, I understand. A boy is in the, in the midst of good health is living in a joint life with girls. Wouldn't there be a lot of humiliation? poo hoo hoo Good. No. Stop. Enough. Stop. Stop. Turn this thing off already. It's okay, Maida. This room inside is completely soundproof. They can't hear nor see the inside from outside, so do whatever. No, stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. Stop. All right, he's out. Can unmute the game now. Are you okay, Maida? The girls' faces are uncomfortable to look at because of Monokuma's video. Maida's face looks pale. That's worrisome. They see a scary video? I'd rather be comfortable with that instead. Oh yeah, you know, uh, Monokuma showed him the uh, the uh, Countryside Drive video where the, the zombie jumps out on screen and screams at you. Ah, Maidakun, good job. Looks like you completed the whole video. What did you do in there? Hey, you can't ask that. Remember what I said that you shouldn't speak? The video that they saw, the feeling you got while watching, the reviews, all of it. It's super denied content. I can't. I can't even tell them that. There's a, a review embargo on Monokuma's booth. Now, starting with Maidakun, the tension has started to increase. Shall we get next one? Oh, you just watched a video discussing the zombie? Yeah. I need to I need to look that up and see. Like, I'm curious about the origins of it because I don't actually know anything about uh, that, like, other than what it was like. Because I, I remember, like, teachers uh, getting sent it uh, when I was in school and seeing it and, like... <laughs> <laughs> like getting scared at their desks while they were supposed to be grading papers. Uh, I saw it once. I think somebody emailed it to me. Um, oh, it was uh, Izzy's video. Okay, yeah, I haven't I haven't watched that one yet, but uh, I did see that it was a thing. So in the span of a few minutes, each went into the separate room and watched their video. However, because of that rule, prohibiting speech about it, we couldn't ask nor say what we had seen, but everyone seemed uncomfortable in some way. Well, it would be uncomfortable if everyone saw the same video as me. I wasn't really expecting it, that was. No, I shouldn't. What am I, th what am I doing thinking about it? Yeah, like, I would imagine that somebody's got one that's, like, actually serious. But, like, n it is kind of interesting that they can't talk about it, though. Now the last one was Miss Kurakawa, who just came out and finished their video. Everyone applaud! So, what does this pathetic video mean? Huh? What does it mean? It's just a show, and it's done like this. This is the end, isn't it? This is not the end of it. <laughs> As expected of Meikaru. Well, it's not much else, but... If one of you manages to get out of here, I'll give you guys... I'll give you what you guys desire the most. That's it. What? You're making real what we saw? Yes, your desires will become a reality. Of course, th that story will become true if you get out of here after murdering and safely cross the class trial. Well, it's definitely an interesting video. It's not like I want to get my hands on a murder. 
I'm not even sure how to feel. What does my desire in the AV, AV room mean, though? Yeah, like, I mean, like, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, like, I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with, like, the, the money thing. No, like, uh, I, people, uh, I, I think Yuki's is the one that's, like, like that. Like, I think everybody else is, is different. Is the implication that I am getting. I don't think they're all like that. Um, I think it's like the same with like the previous motives where like he gets a silly one and then everybody else's are like a little bit more on topic. <clears throat> what does my desire in the AV room mean though? Huh? I thought it would be way, way more enthusiastic this way. I don't know if everyone has to see what I've saw, but I don't want to crush our bonds that much. Do not judge on personal standards. What? Oh no, yeah, like, obviously, that that is still very yikes. Even though a more absurd motive came up than last time, the murder still took place. How many times do you want to be tricked by the same idea? Monokuma doesn't give me meaningless motives. But Kinjo, last time the problem was because of Tomori rather than a motive. This motive will also cause another murder. This much, I can guess. But what does that mean? Who's going to be the murderer? Rather, why are you suddenly intervening with us? Don't do it. And if you guess that a murder will happen, wouldn't it sound kind of weird without thinking about protecting us? Are you still a cop? Why should I protect you from the time you all rebelled against me? You're already a preliminary criminal. You guys agreed to this and did not want to follow my will. Or am I missing something? Wow, he really is a cop. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very uh, on point. <laughs> characterization. Hey, that's not fair at all. Kinjo told me to forcefully follow you first. I'm done. Anyway, if I try to act as your loosely leader, the murder will happen again. I feel sorry for you, but I feel it's better to be suspicious of everyone and act alone. If it, I were in your place, I'd do the same. Sure, do whatever you want. We like it better without you. Are we done? Hey, you guys. I haven't finished talking yet. Can you hear me again? Oh, it's okay, so speak up, Mr. Monokuma. Good, because it makes me more sad to be patronized like that. Hmm, you guys seem to be a little more hectic than last time. Kinjo, who, who was leading everyone, was discharged, and Miss Tyra became a- What? Monokuma, don't say that. Stop pretending like you don't know anything. And you're acting funny, Maida-kun. The one who knows the bad guy behind this. Be knows the bad guy behind this. Stop. Are you thinking about splitting us up again? We won't fall for it. We don't doubt Maida. That's right. I don't believe your words in the first place. I'm not going to do murder to... I'm not going to do murder to anyone. <laughs> Everyone. Oh, really? But don't forget, this traitor certainly exists. Maybe the person could be right next to you. <laughs> I would assume that that was just a mistranslation. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that he's probably just saying, like, Oh, you know, she's like totally zonked out. She's just, like, completely silent. That's crazy. Well, let's see what happens in the future. With this, our video screening is over. You can all go have and have... You can all go and have a good dream. Only one. That's all you get. Wait a minute. I have a question. Huh? Question? What? Well, originally, I had no plans to give any answers, but I'll listen. Kisaragi Hanzo. Who is it? Huh? What is the relationship between us and the graduates of the 58th grade of Hope Speak Academy? Where does that name come from? Crap! I'm so angry my fists are gonna fly! I feel like I wanna punch someone! Stop avoiding the question. Answer me. There's no way this school will have traces of people who have nothing to do with our situation. <laughs> no comment! I said I was going I said I was going to listen to the question in the first place. I didn't say I'd answer it. <laughs> now we're done? Then I'll leave. Yeah, I don't buy that, like, he just left that there by mistake. Like, I think he did it on purpose. Like, I think he's just play-acting a little bit. He's like, oh, no, who could have guessed? And then I would, uh, who would have found out about that? Oh, no. <clears throat> I mean, it's like, you know, in actual DR, like, Junko never left out hints that she didn't expect people to find, so. He's gone. Mikaru, why did you ask that question? This is stupid. You don't even know the reason for the question? 
These past few days, you guys seem to have given up on getting out of here at all. Isn't that right? What? This part is not the triggering part, but pretty messed up. Okay. So, maybe, let's see. Uh, or, I mean, like, uh, you know, I'm just saying, yeah. There's something to be on the lookout for, then be on the lookout for it, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain is very fog, bad. Gonna <clears throat> save soon and then <laughs> stop streaming soon. I don't just want to escape from here. I want to know the truth of this case and find out the real culprit behind everything. I'm trying to do that. Which is different than you guys playing around with your friends hapless helplessly. Hey, you're being too severe. <laughs> oh boy. Eh, Tyra? Ooh, no. Uh-oh. Tyra! Hmm? What's the matter with her? I don't know. Why is she doing this all of a sudden? Didn't she see something serious? Did she see? Didn't she see something in the ser serious in the video just now? It can't be serious. The desire video was it? If it's what we want, it can't be that negative. Okay, is it is it content warning time? As I said before, don't judge by individual standards. Then, watch out. The motive has just come out. I fear that sooner or later a big deal might break out. No, it's not? Okay. What is this guy saying, pretending to be smug? I'm more worried about Tyra. Why don't we go after her? Yeah, let's find her. After breakfast the next day. Okay. Kurikawa, are you going? Is something wrong? You seem to be shaking a little. Kurikawa? As Kinjo said, something might happen. Be careful. I'm not interested. Following everyone, we went to find Tyra. The motive this time was ridiculous for me, but like Kinjo said, we can't judge by personal standards. This is what we have felt many times. Everyone died from such absurd things. Maki is dead. Higa is dead. Tomori is dead. Hatano is dead. We can't let anyone die more die any more like this. After such after a brief search, I was able to find Tyra in the student dormitory. Did you find Tyra? Wouldn't you check her room first? <laughs> yeah, it looks like she's in her room. Tyra, what are you doing right now? Please come out. She's not coming out of the room. Oh, and Kurikawa? I don't know. For some reason, Kurikawa is also in a bad condition. I just went ahead first. It's a bad premonition to be shaken at a time like this. Tyra. Hello, this is a school announcement. It's now 10 p.m., which means nighttime. Has begun. <laughs> Soon the restaurant will be permanently locked and become a no-entry area. Have a good dream and sleep well, everyone. It's already nighttime. What do we do? What do we do then? What? What to do? We have to go to our rooms and rest for today. If Kinja was here, he would have made a better decision for all of us right now. I'm not sure I believe that. <laughs> yeah, we're worried about Tyra, but she still went into the private room, so let's let her sleep. Kurikawa will come back on her own as well. We have no other choice, do we? Then everyone sleep well. Finally, Monokuma made their move. He again tried to induce murder by giving us ridiculous thing called motives. That video I watched was really... It was just as useless as it can be, but... Tyra's reaction, and Kurikawa's reaction. Just by looking at them, I could see that it was a serious situation. No, not another murder. I can't let it repeat again. We have to prevent it, no matter what. I have to pay attention to the surroundings more than ever. Okay! So, yeah, we are gonna uh, stop here for tonight. Um, but thanks for watching, everybody. I'm d d very brain fog now. It's, for some reason, it is just, like, really hard for me to, like, keep reading this after, like, several hours. Because, like, you know, again, um, like, gratitude to the, uh, the person who translated this all by themselves. 
but like it, it is a lot to like have to go through for like hours at a time. <laughs> um, also, yeah, like the trigger warning probably is going to end up being towards the beginning of the next stream, but I will, uh, you know, try my best to remember that and like, yeah, mention it beforehand. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, uh, remember that uh, my new video comes out tomorrow. So please make sure to tune in and see that because it's gonna be fun. I have some really fun stuff that I uh, did with that one and I am really proud of it. Um, and I think you will all uh, have some interesting things to see when it comes time to premiere. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.